Hey, I'm here. I just sat down, but I'm here. I made it. You guys thought I would. You guys thought the music was gonna loop again or something. Shut up. This is a spooky game. I would say it's spooky. Uh, it definitely is labeled as uh, spooky on the on the things, but I wouldn't say it's the author or the person's uh, immediate fucking focus of it. But it ends up feeling extremely spooky sometimes. It's got an, it's got an uncomfortable vibe, but uh, I didn't really like tracing static. I played a little bit off stream, like further on, and it wasn't really much gameplay. It was more of a walking simulator. I didn't want to play another fucking walking simulator horror game. All right, we just we literally just did one. We 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 literally just did one. We did a fucking door in the basement. And that was a walking simulator. It was a good one, but it was basically a walking simulator. You'd walk to something and then you'd walk to another place. I didn't want to do another one of those if that's really what the gameplay was going to boil down to. Uh, this one has a map location called... No, I'm not going to spoil it. This is a good game. This is like one of those like, what the fuck? Where, how did this come out and no one noticed it was out and it's also really good? I, I'm I, honestly I played like two hours of it and had to force myself to stop to stream it. So uh, I think people will like. I hope people will like it. It's rare that I play a game on like off stream and I'm like wow I want to keep playing it. But I did. It's got like it's got like fucking insanely good map design on top of it. So it's one of those like I want to go find that thing. How do I get there? It's not open world, but it's like got it's got that kind of thief. Esque maze like architecture or like even Dark Souls esque architecture where like you don't know how to get somewhere and then it loops back in on itself later and you're like, oh whoa, this is how you get here. And this place sucks, so I don't really want to be here anymore. Apparently a lot of people have compared it to Kingsfield, which is one of from software's like earlier games. Apparently it's very Kingsfield like in its like map design and like storytelling and stuff. We'll see. It's pretty good though. I, I it's pretty good. I I think we'll like it. That is if everyone can get past like the visuals are a little crusty, but they're also super super good looking at the same time. And the visuals are crusty, I think, as a direct decision by the dev. So I think it works for it really well. This is like a, it's like a fucking deliberate art choice for the models and stuff. It's really good. I think we're going to have a good time tonight. A real good time tonight. Unless like, it, unless something horrible happens, like... My arm falls off. If my arm falls off, this, I don't think the game's gonna make me feel any better about it. If my arm fell off. Foreshadowing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm just saying if it did happen, that'd be a freaking bummer. <laughs> We might still do Chasing Static at some point this uh, month. It's just, I wanted to do something that was as opposite of that kind of horror as possible. And this one isn't, this one has horror elements. Like a Thief game has horror elements, you know what I mean? So it's not going to be like the only thing we're doing, but there is going to be parts where it's like, fuck this. <laughs> I don't want to be here. This place is weird. There are things that are haunted, yes, and they are described as haunted in the game. There are haunted things, and there's like a there's like a ton of enemies apparently, and like monster designs and bosses. It's uh it's like a full-on game without any running from all the enemies and never fighting them and hiding from them. It's like a full-on you fight these things kind of game, which I haven't played in a long time. So this one's got everything. Wow, dude, a game! Yeah, it's kind of like a game. It's uh, based off of like a lot of Scandinavian, Norwegian, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, Norwegian 
lore and wilderness. So it's like, it's got some pretty unique Norse style art and direction. I think it's gonna be freaking epic unless it sucks. Hog the monster from the ritual. Dude, I played this game for like fucking two hours and I shit you not. Something fucking came out of something and scared me bad enough that it might as well have been worse than the monster and I fucking fleed. I fleed from my from my environment and I kept fleeing. It happened. But does it have trolls? I can tell you for certain that one of the last things I did was go up to a doorway that I couldn't go into because I needed a working headlight and the label of the map zone was called Troll Hall. So, yes. The map does have trolls. There's a literal troll hole uh, that I couldn't get into because I couldn't fix my headlamp. And it was too dark inside the hole. You fled the computer? No, I turned around and I said, I don't want to fight that thing. There, I, I don't see a reason to. My weapon, I have a slingshot, and then I ran, was my, was what I said. Mine was, I have a slingshot, I feel no compulsion to fight you. Coward didn't escalate. This game's got one of those combat systems where it's like, you fired your weapon, huh? And you missed the enemy? <laughs> Reload your flintlock, pussy. Go on. Stop moving awkwardly in the middle of the fight while all the enemies chase after you and slowly reload your weapon. You don't have a machine gun. You have a fucking bow. Now reload it now. Put another arrow on it. And it's like the whole time I'm fucking like just scampering away panicking because there's like 18 guys on me and I have a slowly shooting slingshot that to load the fucking pebbles manually into the sling. How many horror games have you played that triggered your fight or flight response? To the point where I got up out of my chair and left? Never. Never. Not in my entire life. At least not in like normal things. VR t made me take off my headset, but I've never like been so scared that I've gotten up and like left. I don't think. It takes a lot more to scare me. You know, I'm not like a, I'm not a pussy. I'm not scared of anything. Taxes. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh, oh, why would you even say that? Get that guy out of here. I don't, I don't want to see that anymore. That wasn't funny. What about that time lost in vivo or destroyed your acoustic foam? Huh? I wouldn't remember that happening. Did, like, some acoustic foam fall off of my wall? I forget. You guys forget that you can watch anything I've done in, like, fucking staggering high-quality resolution and audio. Um, I played that game three years ago, probably, so I don't remember anything that happened in it anymore. It's like it didn't happen. I could play Lost in Vivo again and probably not remember anything I did in the entire game and play it like it was a fresh stream. And if no one said I had streamed it before, I wouldn't even remember I did. I'd probably get, I, I, it would probably do fine too is the worst part. You played it yesterday. Remember? Oh my God. Oh my God, they're right. How could I forget exactly what I did yesterday? Dude, I could totally do reruns, dude. People would watch them, too. If I reran streams from three years ago and quietly deleted the old VODs, no one would even know. You wouldn't even know. I, I would get away with it. No one would No one would know. You are wrong. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, Bucky Ducky? 
little shit? You really think you'd know every single game I played at the beginning of my streaming career? Three years ago? Almost four? Really? Why even delete them? A fair amount of people love reruns. Because if I delete them, then I can always, forever and ever, have infinite content. Because I can delete the old VOD and pretend that I never played it and guess like anyone who even says for a second that I did. I can just say, I didn't play this. You're, why are you like confusing me with another person? That's fucked up. I just do that every day for a new game. That's like a high tier fucking social hack, dude. That's high tier. I never played Hypnospace Outlaw. You're thinking of a different streamer. Sorry, I just don't know what to say. Honestly, I support the rerun plan. I don't know. If I, if I ever actually ran out of content, the first things I'd rerun are games I didn't beat on stream, like a loser. Like, I technically beat Westerado in co-op. I could totally go in for one more rerun of that game and beat it for real on my own, because I never did. Whoppo? Probably not. That game's too long. I'm not chat. You guys always like do this shit for these long fucking games that like no one even watched when it was live. And then you're like, dude, you never finished Whoppo. And I can tell you for a fact, no, like barely anyone showed up to watch Whoppo. So you, like, it's like fucking seven people that just complain about like Whoppo. But like Whoppo, Rain World, no one watched them when they were live. <laughs> so why in the hell would I do like fucking eight more sessions of it? That's un the unfortunate reality of a streaming career. <laughs> You guys like, you guys always, there's always like, I feel bad because it's like, I get it, but there's like this fucking, this, this vocal minority of people that always want me to finish these longer formed games, but like streaming isn't like YouTube the same way. It's like if you, if a stream does like poorly, you can guarantee that the next stream will do even worse. There is fun. There is literally no alternative. That's just how streaming works. So it's like. At a certain point, you just have to be like, well, I'm not going to do eight more sessions of this for a diminishing return of viewers when there's a bunch of people that don't want to watch this and would rather watch something else. And my goal as a streamer is to entertain the largest collection of my audience possible every time. Like, that's a pretty obvious goal, right? So it's like, sometimes you just don't finish the thing because it's like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Twitch is exactly the same as YouTube. Wrong! YouTube can magically have fucking random let's plays of shit do incredibly well. And, uh... <laughs> that shit's fucking broken lately. Like, you can legit just, like, randomly have, like, a ra like a completely fucking random thing. Just do extremely well for no reason. Because their algorithm is fucked. But I mean, like, that fucking, that series thing is no secret to anyone, I feel like, at this point. There's a reason I avoid doing longer series in general, because then I don't have that happening all the time. There's a reason I don't pick up RPGs, like, long-form RPGs that are going to take fucking, like, ten sessions to beat. Because most of the time, unless it's a very specific kind of game, no, like, it's just going to casually get less and less viewership and that's fine if i'm having fun but after about four sessions it's uh, a curse it's a curse upon your brand you know it's a curse dude why don't you go back and get the good ending for the murder golf game dude dude you didn't get the good ending, dude. You gotta replay it all the way through, 100% playthrough. You gotta get that ending, dude. Very cynical take, but I guess that is your brand. You see, this is why I typically don't explain this shit, because a lot of people 
are like, that's cynical, but it's because they have no context to this industry at all. And they're only looking at it from the perspective of a viewer and not the perspective of someone whose job it is to do this and who needs to make money to stay in his house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this applies to any streamer across the board. You know, it's, it's, it sucks. I wish that every single person would watch every stream I did, but I have to fucking, I have to make my streams for the largest demographic of my audience. If I, I'm not going to turn on my stream and be like, I'm playing league today. Like today is my fucking league day. I'm sure some, some of my friends are, but they've played a lot of league already. Like they already have an audience for league. I don't, it would be like me doing league today. I mean, like, I'm doing league today. Today's today's fucking league day. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna do league. <laughs> I wish though. Don't get me wrong. It is cynical that it is this way, but at the same time, okay. Streaming is a fickle fickle monster, right? And if you aren't constantly fucking doing something that's entertaining the largest amount of your audience possible, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't choose to go watch someone else for that entertainment instead. That's the business, you know? So why wouldn't I try to do whatever is constantly going to, at least from, you know, a simple bit of thought be the most, you know, successful option of like an evening, you know? Because if, if someone sees a streamer going like, yo, he's playing fucking session 45 of fucking god dang Baldur's Gate 2. I'm going to go watch a different guy. That's fine. That's what they should do. If you're not, if the streamer's not doing something you want to watch, go watch something else. But then what, like, then next time you're streaming something they might want to watch, they might be like, well, I already like this other guy more because I've been watching him for the last fucking two months while you've been playing uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Uh... I barely even recognize you anymore. What happened to you? My streamer, my old streamer. So like, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't realize the amount of thought that goes into streaming. And they just fucking, they just say, dude, no, your personality, dude. You're, I watch for your personality, dude. Well, my analytics says otherwise, bro. <laughs> There is a, there is a lot of behind the scenes you as a viewer are so detached from and it's so pure and precious. It's pure and precious and I love it and I appreciate you, but, but I do have to, I, I, when a, sometimes when a series is cut off and stops happening, it is directly as a result of me making a conscious decision and saying, uh, this had a, even a pilot episode that had an underwhelming turnout for whatever reason. I don't see much reason in bothering to continue if I'm going to have to feel like I am wasting time when I could be streaming any of the other 5,000 things in my backlog that would do a hundred times better. Wait, did Disco Elysium have a bad viewership? Full disclosure, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Disco Elysium was one of the lowest turnout streams I ever had. But I knew that was going to happen. That's why it was always a guaranteed one-off. Chat, I've been doing streaming for a long time, baby. All right? I knew going into Disco that that was a passion thing I wanted to do. Right? I didn't need that to be a successful thing because I went in saying it's a one-off. I can justify something like that. I will do a stream that I know is going to do poorly if it's a one-off, I don't fucking care at that point, but I've been doing this for long enough. I would say I'm pretty good at it to the point where I can say, this isn't going to do as well as this thing. I know you guys, I know what you guys like to watch, right? So it's like, I'm just trying to be honest. I, I, I like being transparent about the like the logic behind why I'm doing what I do so that people aren't just like confused and angry. Like at least now you have something to direct your anger at and it is the overall viewership climate of Twitch. You know? And if you enjoyed that Disco Elysium stream, that's great. I'm glad you did. People typically tend to enjoy those smaller ones in the long term, anyways, and they end up doing better on YouTube. It's usually how it goes.
But, uh, nah, there's logic to almost every... I'm not just out here being like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, uh, this one today. And I just, like, grab League off of my desk. To, for As a guy who's never played it, you know what I mean? I grab Hearthstone off my desk. I've never played Hearthstone before in my entire life. You know? I just hope people understand, because a lot of people are just like, we watch you for your personality, and uh, it, I, I would watch you play anything, but uh, you wouldn't, though. And that's okay. I get it. Like, I'm not out here being like, why didn't anyone show up for my disco stream? I've been doing this a long time <laughs> on YouTube and Twitch. I've gotten very comfortable with the way things are. And that doesn't really bother me. But some people, some people on like the outside don't get it. And they just assume that I just go like, this game sucks now. I'm never going to play it again. But like, usually there's a, lot, a couple other factors, you know? I'll usually say personally, if I'm not playing a game again, because it sucked. Or I will say, hey, I didn't stop playing Enderall for any other reason other than I was in a really bad place when I played Enderall. And I just, at the point of the second session, when I should have done the second session, there was a bunch of tech problems, which we saw during the first session. And it made me so exhausted, I didn't want to play it anymore. So I was just like, I, I'm just not gonna. You know? I would watch you play anything except this and that and those and possibly these types of things and probably not yucky ones made by that developer. And uh, I don't like the color green. So if there's green in the, in the game, I'm probably not gonna watch just because I think the color is weird. Whoa, dude. Take it easy, man. Take it easy, man. That was a really depressing arc of tomato gaming. You guys had no idea. Look, I just wasn't feeling well. I was like, I was really fucking stressed out about some shit during the Enderall thing. And I was hoping Enderall would be like a, fuck yeah, distract me from it. But instead I was just like, nothing, nothing changed. And I was like, eh, I don't really want to do a fucking long-term series. That's going to lock me into anything. I just want to do stuff that's short and fast. I can't believe he cried on stream in front of everyone. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just stuff to think about, chat. It's just stuff to think about because a lot of streamers don't talk about it. But I, for one, am happy to answer questions about streaming logistics. That shit actually fucking... I am I am so intrigued by streamer shit, which I guess is a good thing to like. It's a good thing to like the side that isn't the funny, be funny, haha, -ha, entertain your audience side, but instead be like, I kind of like trying to connect all these dots and try to find out what makes this work or how this thing works. But yeah, variety streaming is a lot more math. <laughs> I, I both envy and don't envy the streamers that are like, I stream Fortnite, and I play Fortnite forever. Because you at least don't have to think about it as much. You don't have to think about that part as much. All you have to think about is the opposite, which is, I can't do anything but this forever. It's the opposite. Minecraft? Minecraft's a good one. Minecraft is a fucking good one. That sounds fucking awful. Yeah, I mean, chat, say the goof that you want about, wow, dude, streaming looks so easy, dude. I'm not looking for sympathy here when I say this, for the record. There are parts that are easy about this job, and there are parts that are fucking miserable, and I wouldn't wish them upon anyone. Uh, but, um, streaming is, it's very stressful being constantly aware that your success hinges directly on how... Uh, entertaining you can be at the flip of a switch every single day for the rest of your mortal life. Okay, uh, that, that is, that is a reality of being a streamer, uh, is, um, being able to do that all the time, <laughs> you know? It's like, don't, don't forget that, like, uh, there is a lot that happens behind the scenes. It's different for every streamer, and I can certainly tell you 
Certain ones put in more effort than others. I have days where I put a lot more effort into looking through stuff than others, and sometimes I'm just lazy and I throw something together. But, uh, you know, you do typically at some point have to, like, fucking wake up and be like, I have to be funny today, look at the bags under my eyes, fucking touch the mirror and be like, oh, where did my youth, where's my, these wrinkles are new on my face. And then, like, stumble out the door half naked, sit on the fucking chair and just turn on the microphone and start talking like I did at the beginning of this stream and I'd be funny now. Now, Krungo! <laughs> Do it now! This isn't funny! <laughs> <laughs> Streamer, yeah, that's cool and all, but you're kind of dropping the ball right now, dude. Uh, can you say something funny right now, dude, or I'm out. I'm gonna leave. I'm done. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Nothing's fucking happened lately. Most of the time, like, the intros would be a little bit of, like, what's been going on lately, but I've been, I haven't been feeling 100%, so I've been kind of taking it really easy and nothing's fucking happened. I don't have much more to talk about in the intros right now. I don't really... Look, I like the intros being long as next as much as the next guy for padding out the length of my streams. <laughs> but, uh... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna just, like, talk in circles forever. Eventually, I'm just gonna, like, be like, Okay, intro short today. You haven't been attacked by spiders or something? No, that's why I haven't, like, tweeted anything. Chat! I don't make them up, alright? Like, people... Are, some people are like, dude, I can't believe Twitter already gave up on Twitter. I just don't have anything to say. Because I don't make them up. <laughs> you guys, nothing's happened. It's been a, there's a quiet before a horrible storm outside my yard. And I haven't seen any animals in a while. I look out there and I don't see anything. Not even trees. All of it's gone. It's a white void. And I don't know what's happening. Some kind of force of animals are gathering. I even had... I even had a fucking... DoorDash delivery person... Politely place my food at my door. For the first time in years. Yesterday. So like. What's going on? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Come here. You gotta get out of here. You gotta get the heck out of here. Something's wrong. All right, something is wrong, but I don't know what it is and I don't know how to stop it from happening if I can't tell what it is. A momentous occasion is upon us. Look, I'll put out like a tweet in like broken English about being like attacked by like a, like a bird or something later and you'll know that something broke into my like chimney and is currently killing me. And the others are waiting outside in case I try to run. All right, it's coming. It's on the way. <clears throat> All right, it's coming. He crossed into the good universe. Dude, wouldn't that be badass, though? If, like, you fell asleep and you just woke up in an objectively better universe than the one we were in? Like, everything's the same, but the air is, like, 50% cleaner. <laughs> and you can tell, and you're like, huh. Most of it's still shit, but this part is better. This is a better universe than the last one. I can breathe. You don't belong here. I don't belong here. Cross to the universe where Tomato is top number one streamer. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't, I don't want to be the top number one streamer ever. I don't want to be in the top 50 streamers ever. Ever. 
I, at a certain threshold, if I knew I was going to make it to that point, I would self-sabotage. I would actually self-sabotage. I would, like, accidentally mute my my mic for, like, fucking, tw like, two hours during the stream and pretend I didn't notice. Like, I would accidentally, like, drop the resolution in the stream to, like, 1440p and, like, just not even, like, refuse to accept any input on why it's, like, bad. Snoop Dogg POV. Fuck, is he, does he get views, though? Does he still get views, though? Because if he does, then that doesn't even work. Oh, God. Chap, it's just, like... You guys are all already right now a little bit. Not right now in this exact instant, but like stuff gets more crungo as time goes on. Multiplying the presence here by like 10? Forever all the time? <laughs> would, uh, would make me, um, let's just say, uh, let's just say I would, uh, <clears throat> Mmm. Mmm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Mm. Time to drop us, huh? No, no, no. You guys are you guys are fine right now. It's just like it's just like it's just like if it was like if I had a fucking 15,000, 20,000 people watching every single stream, I'd probably be miserable. Clip this. <laughs> Clip this. If I'm ever at that point, just like, 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 do a quick, like, double check and, like, see if I'm miserable or not. Like, ask me while, while we're there. All right. Sorry, I was reading something. Joe was sending me like a lore drop for the D and D session tomorrow because I have to, I have to know my character's racial lore because it's a new, it's a new race we designed for my character for tomorrow. So it's like it, it didn't even exist until today. So I have to like read it, so I'm not like an idiot. It's not a freaking stupid, stupid boy. How many pages of the lore? It's just a couple paragraphs. It's just like the name of the race. Hey, Lisa, thanks for the five gifted subs. Super duper, super duper. Don't send me gifted subs as my friend, though. Thanks for the gifted subs, though, and I'll take your money. But don't do that again. As nice as it is, you don't need to give me money. You're my friend. You don't need to do that. So thanks, but don't do it again, though. It's like laundering money. I've been trying to get your attention. Have you tried just DMing me on Discord, though? Because <laughs> if you need to get my attention, the Twitch chat is not the place. What's up? Coolsy, thanks for the five <laughs> gifted subs. Thank you, Coolsy. Dono zoned. <laughs> Dono walled again. JK, I wanted to send you money, but also you didn't reply last time. LOL. Okay, but here's the thing is that you again used uh, Twitch chat. You used, you used Twitch chat, which is like, of all the play, if you need to get a reply, if you're like looking for a reply from me, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't, I don't know if I use Twitch chat. I just don't know. That's like hard mode. You're playing on like new game plus. I meant discord. You're telling me. If I search right now on Discord, I'm gonna see I didn't reply to you. Oh no. This is like 
four months. This is like a month ago. And he, and he was whitelisted. This is from like SS13 for a month ago, and I whitelisted them. Dude. I read it. I had no need to reply. I haven't been replying to anyone that's been asking for whitelist stuff because I just do it. No one, not a single person that's been like, can you add this person to the SS13 whitelist has gotten a message saying they've been added because I assume they'll just like check. And they have. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you back for, for not fucking shaming me right now for not replying to you. I guess. Wow, Tomato is a bad friend. Chat, the amount, you know the amount of people... Lisa's not one of them here, okay? But you know the amount of freaking people that came in when SS13 started after fucking months of me going, Hey guys, SS13 starting soon. How about you send me your ID so I can get you whitelisted preemptively? You know the amount of people waited until a week after SS13 started then all came in and were like, uh, Hi, this is my name. Add me now. Why aren't I added? Hello, 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 add me, hello. Asking on the on the behalf of someone else if they can be added is a different story. But the amount of people that I had coming in where they're like, hello, 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 with two months of at a time, ignoring my message. Actively replying, like to have a starting new conversation beneath my message. Hello, 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 tomato, hello, hello, streamer, hello. Streamer, are you there? Getting real tired of being ignored by you, streamer. Getting real, not funny anymore. Pissing me off. Don't worry about it. Hello, are you there, Stremmer? You were real funny, but not anymore. Blocked. Does blocking even do anything on Twitch, dude? Because I got like 18 of you that like, I'm fine with you talking in the chat, but I don't want to ever see your message personally ever again. Can I just block you so I'll never have to see your message again, but everyone else will so it won't hurt your feelings? <laughs> you can? Yo. Yo, fuck yeah. That changes everything. That changes everything. That's very useful to me. But people can figure it out eventually. Well, no, they probably wouldn't. They probably never would. Cause I wouldn't I wouldn't do it on uh I wouldn't do it on the public one. It wouldn't be on the one that's on this screen. I don't look at the one that's on the screen. Ever. So I'm not worried about that one. That wouldn't be it. Aren't they the same though? No. One is a totally different application. God, you guys didn't even do any research. What happens to the with the bit of changing chat members' names? What are you talking about? Yeah, what did happen? I don't even know what you're talking about. You probably know about as much as I do. Huh? What? I think about Pokemon. They're talking about Pokemon? Dude, I still get messages about Pokemon. You guys can stop now. All right? I mean that, I mean that genuinely. I mean that genuinely. 
Because, like, I got one today that was, like, someone was, like, tomato, 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 waited. I didn't reply. I said nothing. I saw the message, and I was, like, stop. I was, like, stop. I'm going to fucking mute you. I'm going to mute him. And they go, tomato, tomato, tomato. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Now that I have your attention, I think, despite the fact you haven't replied yet to any of the previous ones, uh, coughing up cum. Thank you. Thank you. And then they just, like, disappeared into the fucking mist. I was like, bud. <laughs> but it's been months. But it's been, like, a month. It's been so, so long. In, in the streamer world. And it... It, it, it's just been too much time. You can't come in this late into the party. The only thing I can think of is that some people saw like the YouTube videos and they were like, dude, that means he must post these videos a day after the stream, dude. I'm gonna fucking send him one now, dude, right now. So I got like a fucking like high concentration blast of new posts a couple days ago. Maybe that's it. But without that explanation, there's nothing I can do to cope with the fact that some people still think I'm looking for hot Pokemon names for my team. Hell yeah. Some really good names. Yes, Lisa? What is it? What would you like to ask me? I sent you a DM. This DM better be so freaking good, cause it's like, cause it's like you now sent you, this is like a three message build up DM. And friend or no, I'm about to slap you into the fucking ground if like this DM sucks. Cause I'm in like the middle of work right now. All right, you're like bothering me at my front desk job. All right, I'm at my desk sitting down working on my Excel spreadsheets for the day. And you're like, y y this better be the best freaking DM I've ever seen or I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Here I go, I'm gonna open it. It's, uh, it's come. Yeah, the message she put, she wrote come in regional indicator letters. wrote it in the big emote letters the big the big emote letters what about the other three though i won't read those now until i'm off stream because that was your one on stream dm message that you get read live sorry the others i've everyone else follows the rules god knows voice box follows all the rules dude all right Everyone has to follow the rules. How many DMs do you get live? I'm assuming a ton. From friends, some. Not typically knowing that I'm even live. But, um... I mean... I would say it's ill-advised for someone to DM me from the community just because I'm live. Because, um... This is about the fastest way to get silently ghost muted by me. If you spend your time sending me goof messages when my DMs are open for, uh, you know, actual unban requests and things. <laughs> That's just about the fastest way to ensure that you never pop up as a notification on my Discord ever again. No one's ever done it where it's been like, you're live, I'm, 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 I'm distracting you. Like, no one does that. No one's ever done that. So. The only time I ever do anything is if someone's like, tomato, 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 tomato look at this, look at this meme. I'm like, once, it's like, okay. Then it's like, tomato, hey, I'm making this a daily event. 
Every day I'm going to send you a meme. And at that point, after about day two, they've been kicked from the server. <laughs> After day two, they've been shown the door. <laughs> For their own sake. Dude, meme of the day, dude. This one I saw hot off the presses, dude, of Imgur. Of Imgur. You're gonna love this one. This one's freaking crazy. It almost killed me when I saw it. I was driving. I was driving on the highway, dude. I was in. The, I was. I, I, I was in merging lanes, dude. I pulled open my phone. I saw it on Imgur. I, I started laughing so hard that I ran someone else off the road by accident, dude. And I almost flew off too. I was going 85 miles an hour down the highway. I almost died, but it was worth it because this thing fucking killed me. It almost killed me anyways, dude. I almost died, laughing. How do you do that voice for long without having a coughing fit? Uh, I have punished vocal cords. <clears throat> I have punished vocal cords. Also, it's my real voice. Yeah. It's the voice I've been born with. It's the curse I've been given. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. If I'm not on stream, I'm talking like this, dude. It's a genetic curse. One I can never be free of. This meme did kill me, dude. Dude, this meme I sent you, it killed me. I just woke up on a hospital bed. The doctor survived me with a defibrillator. I'm alive, but only barely. The doctors say I may only have a couple more days to live, but I wanted you to get a look at this fucking killer meme, bro. This one literally did me in. It's an old meme. It's an old meme. I was in a coma. I couldn't send you the meme, dude. I've been knocked out for 10 years because of how fucking funny it was, dude. I don't know what's fun anymore. I don't know what's cool, but I loved your old YouTube videos and now I want to send you this meme. like a rage comic or like a fucking velociraptor thinking <laughs> it's a frog on a unicycle or some stupid bullshit someone killed me loved it couldn't get enough it's knuckles <laughs> it's vr chat knuckles <laughs> Meme tier list? There is no fucking way. There's no fucking way it even exists, but dude, that would be the easiest tier list of my fucking life because so memes are not made equal in this fucking world. They really are not. All right? They aren't. Oh, God. They aren't even. There aren't any. They really just aren't. No, there really aren't any. I, yeah, no, it doesn't exist. Actually, it kind of does, but like, I opened it up, chat. I'm not gonna do it. I opened it up and it made me fucking realize that I am old and I only recognize about five of them. So I'm not even gonna bother. I only recognize like five of them and the rest I can't tell if they came like directly as screenshots out of like porn. So I'm not gonna, I don't think. I'm just not gonna bother. Becoming a boomer. <laughs> Always have been. You guys just didn't notice. I don't even, I don't, when I look at my hands, I don't recognize them anymore. I look at my hands, they're all fucking calloused and wrinkly at the same time.
Tomato already mowing the lawn. Dude, mowing the lawns is great. Why the fuck are people picking on mowing lawns? I wish I could mow my lawn. I wish my lawnmower didn't break and then someone, like a fucking neighborhood, like uh, lawn mowing agency wasn't like, we'll mow your lawn for like $5. And I was like, that's a good fucking deal. I never hated mowing my lawn. Then someone was like, I'll mow your lawn for you for like this amount of money. And I was like, that's a steal. I, I genuinely was like, that's a steal. What the fuck? How do you make money? And then uh, they were like, they shrugged and they said the neighborhood. They just said the neighborhood. And I was like, all right. Sounds like a deal to me. Whatever that means. I'm not going to ask any questions. My bones are old and dusty. The neighborhood. That's a steal is extremely boomer? You're telling me it's boomer just to say that's a steal? That's boomer? What's the zoomer alternative? All right, zoomer. What's the zoomer terminology? Dude, that's lit. <laughs> What? That's cheapo. That that's a devious lick. What? Oh my god, you guys are perverts. That's nothing. That's nothing. What? A, a devious lick. What is this? <laughs> Someone says the deal, and you say, in a crowd of fucking 20 people, your family watching in horror as you say, Dude, that's people cheap, dude! That's Zoomer as fuck. That's a very Zoomer. Apparently a- wait, hang on. A devious lick is a TikTok trend where people steal things from their school like soap dispensers or desks. Dude, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking funny, bro. I love theft. I love permanent. I love getting shit put on my permanent record, dude. I love it. I love being a menace to society for clout. I love it when, when a bunch of nameless people on the internet egg me on to do something because I want to feel noticed. I want someone, anyone to notice me. So I'll steal things. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll murder. I'll kill if it means getting noticed for even a second. I'm so fucking alone, dude. Oh, I'll do a devious lick. Someone, dude, I... I kidnapped my teacher. I stole his kidney. And I posted it online. Someone said, and I quote, dude, I shit you not. I shit you not. I'm not shitting you right now. He said, that made me lol. It was worth it, dude. Back in the day, we just called it stealing. <laughs> Back in my day, you didn't ha you didn't need an excuse called TikTok to take what was yours, to take what you were owed by society. Back in my day, we just called it theft. Society owes me that fucking soap dispenser. I, I'm owed my soap. Dude, imagine calling it devious lick. Where does that even come from? Is the it, does lick just mean to take something then? Because 
The devious part then is the fact that it's done in the form of theft. Lick is to take something. So devious means it's bad. This sucks. This sucks. Devious is like one of the least zoomer fucking words you can use. It's literally bad theft. Why would you use the word devious? Devious is terminology used on like fucking goddamn rage comics, dude. That's like where I would expect to see the word devious. Why the fuck? Sorry, we only angelic yield here. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I can't help you with the devious lick. I'm currently angelic yielding. Just can't. That was the response trend. See what sucks is that I don't fucking know if you're joking. It was actually, dude, I'm going to fucking float away into heaven right now. My soul's going to pass on. I can't stay here anymore. I'm going to will myself to die. What the fuck is going on out there? I'm going to fucking my I'm going to will the rapture to happen for just me and I'm going to leave all you down here to die. All right. Here I go. I'm going to start clenching. No, you all stay down here. <laughs> you all knew about it. You didn't even try to stop it. Dude, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, this might sound like psycho insane shit. I would like to see that. Dude, climb a bunch of milk cartons and see if you don't break your neck. And I'd be like, part of me in the back of my head would be like, Maybe they'll get, I hope they don't die, but I hope they might get maimed to the extent where they will immediately like mature 20 years on the spot and like never, ever, 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 ever be this kind of fucking stupid to society ever again. Every time I've been like, I hope maybe they'll get, maybe they'll have like a big scare and they'll be like, oh my God, my life is mortal and I can't just do whatever I want with it because I can die. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. I thought I was the protagonist. I thought everyone but me was a simulation or a dream in my head. But turns out I can die. <laughs> That's not winner talk. Imagine believing people will ever learn their lesson. Dude, my plot armor, there's something wrong. I, I, I was supposed to plot armor, but I didn't. Why? Why didn't I? What happened? What happened? But the clout, streamer. Chat. Clout ain't worth shit. Especially, look. There are certain... This is, uh, you, I'm gonna get stuck fucking statistic... Statistic analytical on, like, on all these TikTok weenies, Okay. Clout doesn't mean jack shit on TikTok because of how fucking short the actual things are. You're in someone's brain for about 30 seconds and then you disappear into the void again like it was nothing. Okay? It's like getting clout on Vine. It doesn't fucking matter. It's like getting clout on a Facebook liked post. It doesn't matter. Same with Twitter. You don't see people that get an insanely viral Twitter tweet actually pull any audience from it. That doesn't mean anything. You're not earning anything. You're getting fake. You're getting like you're getting tricked into like insane psycho stunts for nothing. Make like a long form YouTube sketch, idiot. <laughs> Make like a long form YouTube sketch, and maybe you'll get somewhere. It's something that's long enough that people are going to want to look at what you do. Stupid.
if you're going to main yourself, don't do it on a medium that isn't going to immortalize you properly, is what I'm trying to say. If you're going to die, do it somewhere where, like, people are going to be like, dude, I, this, this is fucking crazy, dude. I'm going to like and subscribe. All right? If you're going to do it that way. Don't historical figures all have the clout then? Oh, I mean, yeah, no, nah, they've got insane amounts of clout. But like at the same time, if Abe Lincoln were to come back to life and be like, give me your wallet. And then he said after that, I freed the slaves. I'd be like, yeah, Abe, but shit kind of still fucking sucks though. Abe, I don't owe you shit now. Like Abe, it's been a long time since then and stuff still sucks now. I'm keeping my wallet, Abe. Maybe next time don't get shot. All right? Because you left stuff a little shitty still. Could have done a little bit more if you dodged. Bro, too soon. <laughs> too soon, dude. I'm still reeling from Abe, dude. What the fuck? Bro. I can't. How could you say that about Abe Lincoln? Spoilers. <laughs> dude, you spoiled AP history for me, dude. Dude, I hope... Nah. You guys think the play was good, though? You guys think he was at least, like, having a good time? Or did the play suck? I hope it didn't suck. Because that would suck. It blew his mind at Tomato Gaming. Oh. Mega lol. Oh, oh mega lol. That's going to be an Omega lol for me. Thanks for that. Dude, one of the actors came up and killed him. Yeah. It, he really did. Like, this wasn't... It is kind of fucking... <clears throat> cra it, it does suck that he did choose to go to a play... And, ju and he just so happened to go to the play with the one guy that really didn't freaking like him and just went and got him for it. Like, that does... He wasn't in the show. Yeah, but wasn't he, like... Wasn't, like, the whole thing was that he could, like, casually walk in because everyone was like, oh, my God, that's him, the actor. I'm not gonna stop him. He's, like, freaking... He, like, he does stuff here. Fuck yeah, come in. I don't know. I don't know enough about the shit. All I know is that Abe got got, you know? He got that. Devious licked his life, dude. Dude! <laughs> I went back in time, dude! You wouldn't... I, I stopped John Wilkes Booth's devious lick, dude! I stopped it! I saved the future! I stopped the devious lick with an angelic yield! This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. I hate it. I hate it here. I don't even like being here. Oh, 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 my, it hurts my tummy. It hurts my tummy to think like this. My, my, my tummy hurts. My stomach hurts. It 
It's time. It's time, chat. It's time. So, uh, the game we're playing tonight is a pretty cool one. Um, it's got horror elements. It's got a bit of everything. It's got a little something for everyone. Uh, it's an indie game that got linked a little, like, a couple days ago. Uh, never before linked. And I played it for a little bit, and I was like, yo, this is really good. Where did this come from? How did they do this? How could I, how could this have gone under my radar for two months? As it has pretty much everyone. I was like, hey, a good indie game? That's not right. Something's wrong. So, uh, I think we'll have, I think, I think it's going to be a pretty good time. Oh, there was an update just now. The dev also updates the game a lot. Which is cool of them. They're very active in patching their game. Which is cool and helpful. Is this the next strand type game? I would almost I would almost describe this as a strand type game. Uh like genuinely. It's got some strand type elements. Like it's got some high tier strand elements, but it's not a strand type game. It's just like it's a little out there, it's a little weird, it's a little crusty. But um I think I think you guys are gonna like it. I think you guys are gonna like it. Look, I don't say that about a lot of fucking games I play. But uh I really like this. But we'll see. Maybe it'll fucking blow up in my face. Maybe the new update was like adding in garbage. Like literally garbage, you know? So all the music is done by the dev too. It's a one man project across the board. It's got a really good atmosphere. Northern journey. We're traveling north, up the mountains, to the great peak. To Canada. To Canada. New game. In a remote northern region. This fjord has many arms I am surely lost. This fjord. I just got shot 18 times by a silent sniper rifle. My boat's going down. I just, someone just shot, like, fucking, with, like, an M14 EBR. They just shot, like, ten holes in my fucking boat. I, I'm gonna die. I didn't have any, I didn't even have a chance to dodge that. Typical Canada. <laughs> Typical Canada, I'm not surprised. I just got taken down by, like, a, some fucking guy from Modern Warfare 2. Whatever. Someone just shot holes in my freaking boat! Uh, uh, my arms, I don't have I don't have shoulders on my arms! I'm like a Rayman kind of guy. I need to get to shore, I cannot swim! Help! Help! I can't believe I lived. I barely made it. I can't believe my boat didn't. I can't believe I didn't take the oars with me as a sort of weapon to defend myself. Just in case this place is full of monsters. When red dot, save is disabled. Just so everyone is aware as we go into this game, this is not, I, this game's got, a, so, it, for the most part, the translation is actually really good. But um, there are some like, sort of like weird grammatical Absences, so I will work them in myself. You won't even notice. Well, here we are. About 10,000 miles from home, chat. All alone. On the side of a mountain. Nothing to our name. Nothing at all. Whatever shot us looked like it came from that lighthouse, but we may never know. A snack. That gave me 10 HP. 
I hope there's more of those. Bad graphics, this looks really good. The game has got weird graphics. I wouldn't describe it as bad, and later in the map design, you'll be like, this looks awesome. But uh, it's got some really slapping map design. And it's, got, it's sort of got that Dark Souls-esque, like, you've unlocked the path to use this thing, which, into, which cycles you back to this place. There's also no saving at all. Uh, I have to save it all myself, as you can see. There's no autosave, so I have to remember to click the button. Where's your M16, dude? Oh, the compression is not happy? What do you mean? This shouldn't be fucking with compression that bad. I think it's... I, usually stuff's been fine. Usually that's one or two people having a problem nowadays. Hey. The traveling flute player. Welcome to Deadwell! I was hoping for a shipwrecked, desperate soul to wander by, then conveniently someone sank your boat! Huh? How'd you know that? Did you sink my boat, man? Kinda, kinda sus? <clears throat> Anyway, I will hire you to do a job or you will be stuck in this place forever. Three things have been stolen from me. I need you to return them. Several of the inhabitants in the settlement up ahead are involved in this theft. To get started, there are some things you should do. Yes, write them down in your little journal. You seem a bit dim. I will open the town gate when you have completed all the tasks. Okay. Weird, weird flute man. I have five unfinished quests. I have to go to the town and talk to the priest in the church, locate a big rock on top of a trap door, talk to the village idiot, go see the prisoner, and talk to the mother and daughter. Okay. I can do that, we just gotta find that guy's shit and he, he won't fucking shoot my next boat down when I uh, get there next time. No problem, I can do that. Is this the town up ahead? Who's that weirdo? Who is that? It's, that guy gives me like tingle, like tingle vibes. Hi. See my beautiful pet worm. I found it inside of a door far away. The sheriff also knows a door. He placed a tree-shaped key in the lighthouse. He does not know. I know. Okay. This town sucks. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> this is a freak. This thing's a freak. What in... Is this, is this what all Norwegians kind of look like, though? I've never seen one. Is this what it's like out there? I don't know. Here we, here we go, dude. Ah, oh, poor me. I will pay my taxes on time next time. I pro It's the tax evader and the son of the local sheriff. Okay, I don't need to talk to either of them, so there's nothing, there's nothing more to say there. I do need to talk to someone in the church, though. I do have to go inside the church, too. It's empty. I don't have the bell tower key, so I... Uh -huh. Do not let rumors scare you. My authority keeps all dark things far away. Please walk away with my blessings upon you, stranger. What banging, scratching, and growling you hear? Just the wind. This village sucks. I want this potion. 
It will heal me and make me more powerful. Okay. There was a trap door. I need to find two. Uh, someone's trapped under a huge rock. I'm not strong enough to move it. We'll have to worry about that later as well. There's nothing we can do about that. I'm not even going to bother asking that guy about the huge rock. That was a gremlin. That A gremlin just ran right in front of me. Do you guys... Hello? I'm getting out of here. There's like an actual graveyard goblin over there. I'm not even going to worry about it. The well? And what's this? Like a police officer? Sheriff and a prisoner. Why are you bothering me? I'm writing a report about this ugly, strange woman I arrested. She won't, she won't speak to me. A true sign of hiding something from the law. Also, she has a strange skin disease or something. Just look at her out of the corner of your eye. A criminal if I ever saw one. But look, my police dog got a new pet. Got a new pet friend. Listen, how look at how happy it is. They're having fun. The dog and the snake. It's good. Dude, I don't think that's a lady. I think that's a monster. What the fucking what the hell? How did. What the? Whoa, 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 we whoa. How did. Bud, you gotta get this. You gotta get this person the fuck out of here. This isn't. That's not. You, you can't have this person in a box. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. Dude, you can't have this person in here. <laughs> Man, that's not, that's not like a skin disease, that's like a demon. That is a demon. That is a visible demon. They don't even have eyes. That's an SCP. Stop that. Stop. I'm out of here. I have nothing more to say to them. So who's, who's this guy? Let the good doctor check your health vitals. Okay. You have low self-esteem. Drink bully juice. It gave me 25 HP. I need more than that. They're gonna check me again. Thank you, doctor. More low self-esteem. Uh, is healthcare free in, Nor in Norway? I'm not getting a... I'm not getting any... I'm not being charged for this. Been dancing naked in the eye of the mind. I see you clearly drink liquid shame. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and save my game then. And also I'm going to quick save. There's only one person left to talk to in the entire town. And it's these two weirdos. Who are obviously evil. <laughs> it's these two weirdos that are obviously hanging out. Uh, they're probably witches. Uh, it's a uh, little obvious to me if I'm going to be... Why do we have two black goats in our house? Good company, of course. What is in the green smoking cauldron? Green vegetables. Why do we have a broom each? If we are sweeping and one should break, we have another. Do not listen to my old, nearly dead mother. Her head is worm eaten. Where does that door lead? None of your concern. The ghost of the witch guards the key. Hey. 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 The ghost of the witch guards the key. I'm not worried about that. You nasty, foul human. I want to bite your fingers and inject venomous spit into your body. Through, this, through slits, I sense your heartbeat. Ha ha. In your dream, she will take you. Okay, these people are freaks. Oh, the door's open. We talked to everyone. We're ready to leave. We're never coming. Everyone say bye. Everyone say bye-bye to Deadwell. We're never coming back. Ever. We're going north, just like the game says, a northern journey to the north. Some of the people you talked to are liars or worse. Open the forest path gate. That is where your journey begins. The forest path gate is locked with a key the sheriff has hidden. You will need a weapon to kill things. Go to the woodsman's cabin behind me and find the inventor. Beg him for one. Remember. Find the three things things stolen from me even if it leads you to the cold mountains far into the wild and below 
Only then will I allow you to leave my island. Remember. <laughs> well, Chet, this is, uh, I don't think this is the way. Hang on, I'm going to save. I cannot save during interactions. Hang on. If that means that I'm, like, talking to someone or someone is, like, still near me that's going to disappear. So if I go through here, I can probably save once I'm, like, out this other door. There we go. I want to check out that spot quick. Remember. The elevator is missing its crank. Yeah, but what's down there, though, if I just wanted to take a quick, like, little peek, though? Items! Items down there. There's items down there. There's items down there. I saw something. Well, for now, we keep on traveling until we find the inventor and get ourselves an epic weapon worth our time. All right, Chet? We need a weapon. This place is full of monsters and demons and ghouls. And I have a flask available that I think I picked up, which I think those are like health potions that I can use to heal if I get attacked out in the wild. Not that that would ever happen. Don't worry, guys. The mountains are safe. Yeah, I know, I know how to play the base game, game, all right? Just get off my case, all right? Where am I going right now? Oh. Is it safe to live like this? Sir? Are you the inventor? how you live you got to actually jump to your house am I allowed to come in I guess Are you, you're crying for a weapon and this you dare ask me after you jump into my house I have an old rotten stone sling. Why not take that and get yourself killed? I just threw it on the other side. Now, please jump back and leave. Never return. Oh, and the little elevator by the woodsman cabin leading here is missing a crate to function. I bet you stole it. Uh, I'm sorry. I found a stone sling. Tab to equip it. We're armed now, chat. Stone sling does... One does 34 damage on one rotation, 68 damage on two rotations, three or more, 100 damage. We equip it. This is, uh, this is how we survive. It's by throwing rocks. We rotate and throw rocks. All right. It's what we do. That doesn't make me feel safe. Nah, we're going to be fine. All right. We're gonna be A-OK -okay fine. I just have to find out where the heck and heck I need to go now. It's a potion. Can I, like, break the ropes? No. I wish I could, like, send him to his death. You know what I mean? But I can't. I don't believe I can. Attack the inventor. I don't think this game has Skyrim murder. As much as I wish it did, I don't think I can just now look at the inventor and go, Fuck you! He just kind of looks at me for it and gets angry. I'll try it again. Nah, he doesn't care. All right, so we have to open the forest gate path in Deadwell. I'm not strong enough to move the heavy rock. The elevator by the woodsman's cabin needs a crank to function. The sheriff has placed a tree-shaped key in the lighthouse. Well, I'm not entirely sure how to access the lighthouse just yet. But uh, we can take a look around. Might be able to find the way if we do some basic exploring. That's a big map. This is a big game. I have no idea exactly how gigantic it actually is. What the hell? Boys? You, uh, scared of something out there? Oh, the path to the lighthouse is right there. Well, I guess we're not going that way. We're gonna go to the lighthouse. I... Enemies ahead! Tap to equip the slit! I already have. There's some kind of monster on this mountain. 
There's some kind of freaky beast on this mountain that I need to be aware of. It could be fucking anywhere. My character only does so many rotations and he automatically puts the sling away, so I have to be like, weapon is, weapon sight is based on distance to target and is described in the weapons menu. Okay. Uh, I'm full on health. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> really? You think I'm just gonna fucking walk in that now? You think I'm gonna walk down this hallway? You think I don't see you? That's a giant spider. I'm gonna save. Oh, I'm already interacting. I'm gonna huck it at him. I got it. Easy. There's another. Got him. Easy. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I missed him. I missed him. I'm running. God, it's fucking freaky, this fucking thing. It's fine. They're tutorial enemies. You're not supposed to be chased around by them. They're nothing. They're little, little baby. Little baby spiders. They don't stand a chance. All right, they're not gonna, they ain't a threat to me. I'm a Norwegian god. All right, I'm like a, I'm like a complete. Oh, are we over the town right now? No, we've passed the town. This is a different building. We just have to keep moving around for now. Your character's pretty fucking good with a sling after only just getting it. Yeah, well. You know, it's the opposite of me. If I was given a sling, I would probably end up hitting myself in the head with the rock and never, ever, ever. You should also use the save slots in the menu in case of a bad quick save. Why are you telling me that, though? Why are you telling me that as if I... Oh, my mouse. Why are you telling me that? I guess they're being honest. I guess that's the, the right thing to say to me. Look, we'll get to the lighthouse, we'll get that key the sheriff left, and then... All right, chat? We're heading into the, the woods. Strange man. There's a strange man in the hut. Strange man. Who are you? Who? What is happening? Who are you? Time waster seer. I had a vision of you flying over cold mountains. You should, should you fall from the sky, your death will be quick. Let's see if he was right. Okay, I died. All right. You wasted my time, but he was correct. The way the lighthouse is this way. We just have to pass this gigantic rock. It was quick. I died instantly when I hit the ground, chat. He was right. What the heck is all this? Ah! Ah! Remember to save regularly, or else you'll lose your progress. There's an auto run button, which is very nice in these kinds of games where there's a lot of traveling. All right. We just have to descend back down to the, you know, chat, this is just about the area I think someone would, with an M14 EBR sniper rifle uh, would have possibly shot my uh, boat full of frickin' holes. It's just about this area. So we might run into the guy right now, maybe even. I'm not saying I want to run into him, I'm just saying we might. Is this? Invertebrates crossbow bolts. Whatever you say, game. I don't have one of those. I have a sling. Let's just get to the damn lighthouse. Go from there. Yeah. This is the place. The key we're looking for should be obviously placed right in front of me. We'll lower the lighthouse bridge so we can come back the way we came. All right. There it is. He posted it. He like glued it to it. And now we have the path to the forest. We can leave now. Chat. We don't have to stay here in dead well for a moment longer. It's time. Oh, thanks for reminding me about Auto Run. I love this Minecraft ass OST. It's all written by the developer. This is all, this is an exclusively one man team game. Honestly, the only downside so far of it to me is that 
And I understand that it's going to be a bit bit ratey. The same thing happened with Stalker, and people lived and watched Stalker anyways as well. Whenever you do grass that's a solid texture like this that moves, it gets a little crusty. There's really nothing you can do about it on streaming, no matter what settings I choose. There's just, unfortunately, grass will always be a little bit weird to some people. It's not everyone that has the problem, but some people have issues with, like, grass moving. What the fuck is this? A, the wolf on top of like, ask the one missing a sock and pants about his journey and what he might have found and then presumably lost. Love the traveling flute player. Thanks doggy. There's only one guy that's missing pants and a sock and it's the village idiot. I'm going to ask him, is this a quirky horror game? This game gets to horror very quickly and very suddenly in such a way that makes me actually feel unwell, is all I'm going to say. Hey. My voice told me to go to the cold mountains far away. Three pretty treasures I found. One made a red round door in the air. The other side I found a sweet hungry worm. I brought it back with me. The door is still there on the ice. On the sea ice. The second treasure disappeared in the foggy forest, wrapped in my pants? Oh, yeah, he's not wearing his pants. He wrapped them to keep it safe. Die, fuck, cat, cop, <laughs> uh, It's funny because it's a reference only like eight of us get. But uh, every time I see, every time I see ice or out on the ice, I just immediately fucking think about it again. It's a Disco Elysium reference. You'd have to be there. You'd have to be there, dude. The second treasure disappeared in the foggy forest, wrapped in my pants. I lost the last, wrapped in my sock right here. And look, my pet worm loved the snack offered by the sheriff. What do you mean? Oh, it ate one of the treasures. Do I kill it? No, I can't. It doesn't even take damage. Hey, what did you feed that guy, the snake? It ate the dog. No! Have you seen my police dog? It was just outside. Very strange. No! Boy, are you in there? Oh, no, no. And this weirdo is still here. Really don't like that. I do not like that. All right, chat. I'm going to get some healing from the doctor. The only doctor this side of the mountain. He'll heal us up real quick. All right. We're going out. We're going. He's given us all the information we can. The only option left is to go to the forest path. Or go this way. What is this way? Oh, that's just back to the church. Yeah, we're taking the forest path. It's time. Beyond the walls. Freaky monsters. All that's left now is to travel onwards. Past the map drive. Oh, cool. That labeled Deadwell. So that's the map. <laughs> Deadwell is a very small part of it, apparently. Excuse me. I'm sorry? Cool it. Thank you. Now die! Hey! Hey! Now die! They're like booze. Ugh, stop it! They're like little gnomes. Ugh. They're dead. I used the key and opened the pathway to the forest. Have you forgotten which key does what? Press escape and show current key bind. No, I haven't forgotten any of those. To the forest path. We leave. We leave Deadwell. Everyone say bye bye to Deadwell. Everyone say hello to a much sort of scarier place. Beyond the city. Lucky you to have a tranquil walk in the forest. 
You see that glowing sphere down the path? If you take a life, it will absorb the energy into itself. You need it to destroy dark barriers. It will also check the depth of water in front of you. Oh, cool. Green means shallow, red means deep. That's very versatile of the sphere. And do not waste your projectiles on the, on the black spy. It cannot be harmed by your feeble weapons. See you on the other side. The spy? Hello? Not seeing anything. Someone following me? Someone out here? Why don't you just come out now? It's nothing. See spiders? Oh, that sucks. Hey, get lost. How about that, weirdo? Just gonna do that? Gonna do that? I don't like that. Hey! Okay, I've got bugs attacking me. I don't have time to do this right now. I actually have, like, but I don't have time to deal with it. This guy's fucking weird. He's not attacking me, though. So I think I can just ignore him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look, in this game, we sort of have to kill things because, uh... Some of the progression is gated behind collecting the souls of the enemies. You know, that's why, like, that it told me that whole thing about the orbs. So, like, we do have to, like, we can't just, like, run by every enemy in the map. We kind of have to fight in this game. So, we do want to go sort of slowly so we don't get, like, overwhelmed or this gets a lot harder. Stop following me! Weirdo! It's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. But I don't know if he's evil and might try to eat me later. Look, if we just head through the forest, no problem. Is it safe? What is that? Nope, I'm not landing that anywhere near me. It's under the water, I don't know where it is. Hello? I missed. It's like a worm? Whatever, it's fine, it's just like a leech. Sorry, we get leeches all the time out here. There's nothing strange about some... Spider. Okay, there's enemies. They, they just come out of the freaking floorboards. I swear to God, these guys. And the, and the spy. I don't know who he's spying for. Got some bow and arrow, bow and arrows. Uh, arrow, bow, arrows for a bow. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> when we find a bow, that's gonna be really neato. But until we find one of those, it's kind of just a waste of our freaking time. Let's just keep pushing through the... Ah! <laughs> okay. Fucking gross ass worm. Why didn't you do something? And why don't I just take you down while I still have the chance? I mean, take you down while I still have the while I still have the chance. Okay, we can't kill that thing. I see purple potion there. That's like. That's a drink I can use later if I need it. These are enemies. You're not fooling me. Yeah, these are fucking rock guys again. Look! They're kinda... They kinda don't stand a chance against me though because they work like booze from Mario. So I'm kind of just harvesting their souls. I have 13 souls. I got them. They're not... They don't really stand a chance. That's some flying bugs. Also not really... Gonna be able to do much as long as I hit him. I missed. Easy. Pathetic. Sad. This isn't anything. To me? It's just me and my friend, the spy, hanging out. I'm going over there. Whatever's over there, I'm going over there. Tomato hasn't saved in a long time. You're right, but what's gonna fucking happen? What's that, Yog Saran? Just clocked him right in the nose, dude. I'm gonna back up and save. <laughs> Just clocked that guy right in the fucking nose, dude. Right. Right in his fucking nose. Right in his schnoz. <laughs> he might even be dead. Uh. Ha! I missed him. 
I want to get over there. He goes under if you hit him. No, he doesn't. Ow. And there's enemies over here, so why did I even bother? Why did I bother? That's okay, we'll be fine. Kinda. Alright. Why did I come over here? There's just a dead animal. Why did I come over here? This place sucks! I don't like that! Oh! Another emergency health file. Stop. Hey! Stop. This place, guys, I, guys, I think this place might be freaking cursed or something. The second that guy started attacking me, my dog started barking. Well. This must be the seal. Let's see if I have the souls to open it. Barrier destroyed. All lives released. I used the souls of the damned to, to open the path ahead. The village idiot found or stole three devices from me. They are dimensional violators. That is not the way you should ever describe any item in your inventory. <laughs> Over here's my dimensional violator. What? That sounds evil. That sounds like something an evil person owns. They rip tunnels towards any realm you focus on. Really dangerous things. Those are what you need to find and recover. The traveling flute player. Thanks, doggy. I can do that. Provided I don't find my death. <laughs> There's a fucking spider right there. Oh, it's a hopping. It's fine. Man, this rock is really good. If you get like three spins on this, it's a one shot almost any enemy. If I hit. Which I don't. Okay, that spider's having problems. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, right, I'm gonna die that easy. Fuck you. Something's interacting with me though. Oh, I got extra carry capacity. Oh, that monster's interacting with me. I got it. Everything's fine, Shad, everything's fine. I know how to play video games. There's more. But is there more trying to interact with me from behind? Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't like it. Really don't like that. Really, 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 really don't like the worms. I just don't like the worm. I just don't like the, I don't like the worm. Get back here. Everyone just calm down. Now, right, I just need your souls, that's all. Really? All right, where is this guy? There's like one of the fucking goop boys hiding in the back here. All right. God, these spiders, I think, are the scariest one. I don't like them because I haven't been hit by one yet, so I don't know how much damage they do. But they're fucking everywhere. Okay, not much. But they're fast. They're fast and they come out of freaking nowhere. Dude, fucking stop. You know, it's not even scary yet. This isn't even like the chat. This isn't even the scary part of the game. This is just like me fighting through like, yeah, it's like me fighting through the fucking chasm in like King Kong. The Peter Jackson one. I'm just fighting through the chasm. There's just a lot of big bugs around. Can I go through this? Yes. What is this? Some kind of freaking. Oh! Chad, look! We've gotten to the forest path! I don't even have to freaking. Actually, I do have to freaking kill this guy. How the heck did you even do that, man? <laughs> How did he. Well, spy. It was a pleasure traveling with you as far as we did, but I'm heading to Ravenfen now. And you're not coming. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're just not coming. Bye. Forever. Ravenfen. We've made it past the path and we've made it to a real destination. This place looks like, uh, bad. This place doesn't look good either. See, like, mosquitoes? I heard, I heard the flute. Where's flute guy? Oh. Hello? Hi, shipwrecked. That's not my name. It's actually Daryl. 
There are three old grave mounds at this place. Enter them. A bow is resting inside the nearest mound. I would acquire this first. Since the sheep have gone mad from ticks. The second has a key and the third. There is also a shield to find here. It is not for your protection, but for a puzzle. Take it. Lastly, a huge stone near a rock slide further ahead blocks our path. Find a thing that makes the stone fall. Dude, the sheep are freaking angry. I, I, I don't know. Chad, I'm not really scared of sheep. All right, I don't know what to say. All right, I'm not scared of them. What's this over here? We need the raven watch key to get in there. Like, so what if the sheep is mad? Like, mad sheep disease? Can I walk in this? I can. Take a look around. See what we can find for now. Emergency health, not bad. Nothing back there. And it's way too quiet. Something's wrong. Are these mosquitoes gonna be a problem? Yes! Yes, yes, they are gonna be a fucking problem. They absolutely are. They are a problem. They're a problem. They're a problem, they're a problem. The mosquitoes are a problem. Fucking stop. It ducked it. I don't wanna go any further until I've dealt with these three mosquitoes. They're way too, they're too fast. This guy, we're in like Blight Town. Yeah, it's fine. This guy's as good as dead. Bada bing, dude. Pathetic. Let me drink one of my potions. We gotta keep an eye out for the actual potions that we can pick up. Here, like here. And also keep an eye out for sheep. I think I see one over there. Chad, if they're as sick as that guy said, they might be the most dangerous threat to my survival possible. Hey! That sucked. I feel bad about that. I'm gonna go. I just killed it. It didn't even react. Is this the place? Okay. I see the bow. I can't save during interaction. Something's happening. Cool. I can't reach the bow. Oh no. Oh no. How much damage does the bow do? A hundred guaranteed no matter what. The undead! The undead! Okay, yeah, no, this bow slaps. It's no problem. Uh, it's a little off center. But uh, yeah, we took care of those souls. No problem. They didn't stand a freaking chance. In a million years, they never stood a freaking chance, chat. Let's get out of here. Weird off-center aim. I can't help but feel like it's a deliberate choice because my character would aim his bow on one side. He wouldn't be aiming a bow center with his body, if you know what I mean. Because the other stuff all aim center. So I'm assuming it's a deliberate choice. Dude, I don't fucking trust them. I don't trust these fucking deer. Mm, did you hear that? Look, I'll get near this one. Ah! What did I tell you? They're covered in ticks! Get away from me! <laughs> I told you something bad was gonna happen if we gave those things even a chance to get- <laughs> This whole town's gone to hell. Society's broken down at the seams, chat. Sheeps are being steered around by ticks. Nothing really, no real rhyme or reason to anything nowadays. We just gotta keep moving. And kill everything we see for their souls. We need all their souls. There's nothing here. Just rocks. So we went, we found one of the three graves. Oh no. I, I think the mosquitoes are more dangerous though. Okay, so they don't live unless you hit them for like a hundred. I mean, sorry, they don't die unless you hit them for 100. I have to hit them with a three spin. Yeah, it has to be three spins. Or they don't die. That's good to know. I can work with that. 
Let's clear these guys out, no problem. I'm getting really good at aiming with the rocks. You wanna try it? Oh no! There's nothing I can do for you, you're as good as dead! You're as good as dead either way, all I can do now is consume your fucking soul. He heard that. He heard that and that pissed him off to the point where he's willing to charge me. He called his friends. I hate them. I hate them. I hate that they like make sounds and that they had the fucking bells. Still, I just hate them. But I think I've almost cleared this place out of almost all monsters. And then it's going to be as simple as just walking around and looking for the things we need to look for. Oh, God damn it. Did it knows? It saw that, yeah. Oh, Jesus. It died. Wait, no, it lived. Stop. Just stop. Cease. Thank you. We have 37 souls. A couple more. And we will... What did I just trip on? A little hole. I got a good feeling about this spot right here. This has got to have something in it. Don't you agree, chat? Oh, yeah. There's something up here. These ravens or crows or whatever. It's a place called Raven Fen, so it's probably ravens. Signify holes and barrows. We should draw a bow for this. We have no idea what kind of danger could arrive in a place like this. We should be ready for anything. There's probably more skeletons. Oh, a key. And the undead. And they spawned one direct. That one came out from the ground behind me. Okay, really cool. I, I, I will defeat you regardless. This changes nothing. These guys are pathetic. The ro these skeletons don't stand a fucking chance. Okay, with the three spin? Really? I don't know how that one didn't hit me. But, uh, I'm, I'm winning. Alright, I defeated them. Just grab what we need and get the hell out of here, chat. The raven watch key. We know where that goes. But I don't think we're done here yet. We're still looking for a shield. Remember? Shield located in the raven from We don't leave until we get that fucking shield. Understand? No one leaves! I close the door. I lock it. I start swinging my sling around three times so you know it's at maximum damage. No one leaves till we find the shield. I don't care how many ticks you have on you. All right? Just ignore him. This is what we gotta do to survive. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was embarrassing. Owned. Actually, Galaxy Brain owned. I'm looking for the last hole. I don't see it, though. I hear them. I hear a sheep. Oh, my freaking god. <laughs> oh, my freaking god, he sidestepped. Chill! Ah! 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 He fucking bit me! I'm so bad at aiming this. Bruh. We're gonna get out of Raven Finch yet. This place ain't healthy for us. This place ain't good. There's something wrong. There's sheep. The sheep are freaking everywhere. All right, we'll just take them all down. I missed them. Oh my God, it's happening. They're all here. They're all, they all heard it. They all heard the one sheep chasing. Stop. Fucking stop. We have to put Tomato down now. He got bit. No, chat. No, you guys. You guys are gonna do something like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't if I were you. I have pretty good aim. You really think you can close the gap? Before I do something? To you? Before I put you down? Maybe you got bit. Let me take a look at your, your arms. You got any bites on you? 
I carry 50 souls. Okay? 50 souls of dead sheep and mosquitoes. What do you do? Nothing. Nothing. You're yeah, nothing. Just a bunch of dead weight. A whole lot of you. Where the hell's that last barrow? Can I go up this way? We've almost cleaned this place up of all enemies. It's almost free. God, I've gotten good at aiming. I would say this place has been cured of its infection. And what do you know with perfect timing to find a seal of some kind that must be opened? And that was all my souls eaten right there. Ah, yes, the final burial chamber. And now we've we've identified the region of Ravenfen. Allow us to head into the chamber and make sure that we collect whatever's down here. It's more frickin' skeletons, I'm not surprised. No one ever dies in Norway. They just fucking wake up again. Oh, those are new. Oh, those suck. Yeah, I'm shooting them. Yeah, now I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot them and grab this fucking ammo and then hit these ones from here. Real easy. Yeah. So what did I do all this for? What did I do all this for? There's nothing in the middle. Okay. A huge stone near a rock slide has fallen down. Oh! I did this was the rock slide quest. I don't I don't remember that. Oh I do actually. Hey Robbaz, thanks for the freaking raid, man. I appreciate it. Apparently I missed that. That was a minute ago. Thanks. We're playing a game from Norway. That's like kind of uh, adjacent to you. That's like sort of like next door, right? Like it's kind of close, kind of like, kind of like the same place. <laughs> they all are. I really like this game, chat. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like it. I love the maps, especially. So um, I'm guessing this was where the rock slide was. Yeah. Yeah. Let's grab this fucking potion, boost our carry capacity, and take a look around. Get an actual save. Hello? Strange vagrants? That road, that rock slide has blocked the road. We're stuck here for now in this miserable, wet place. We need to play our music somewhere. Do you need a performance? No? I don't? Goodbye, strange people. I'm going to guess this is a way out of the zone. Have you done all the quests in Ravenfen? Check your journal to be sure. Why no? I haven't, Dev. Thanks for fucking reminding me, I guess. Uh, I still have to find the shield located in this place. And then we'll come back. And I think I know where it is. Because I have that key. We're gonna... We're gonna use the key to open this tower over here. That should take care of what we need. We're in. There's a strange basement. Okay. God freaking dang it. How the hell? I took damage, but it was dead already. You guys all saw it. All right, that didn't count. At all. We're gonna have to keep climbing until we find the shield. Hello? Hey! The church in Deadwell is built on top of something very old. There's a reason the place has that name. If you survive, you might get to see it. The traveling flute player. I don't like Deadwell. Honestly, I've never liked Deadwell. I don't really feel compelled to go to- Hey, the shield I needed! We got it, baby! All right, we can leave now. We got what we came for. 
Pack your bags. We're going to the next zone. And never, ever, back to Deadwell. Ever. Ever. Can I bring my ticks? Only if you've named them. All right? And they have to exceed a certain size. We don't, we're not taking any small ones. They have to be named and large and bulbous. All right? Keep it on a leash, will you? Larry, Barry, Carrie, and Sam. It's good names. Well, we made it out. Obviously, this is the correct legal way to get to Green Slit. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows you're supposed to go up the ruin, the ruined hole, and then climb up the small cavernous tunnel to the obvious fucking sign. Here we are, chat. The place where the game starts to become extremely cursed. This is pretty much exactly where I stopped. Because I was like, this is where the game opens up and becomes like the game. They just like, literally you get to this place and they're just like, Alright, here's a thousand different things to do, go fucking do it. Hey. Get yourself a faster weapon against the blood-hungry biters you sure you are sure to encounter. There's a weapon right across the river on that wooden beam, you see it? Right there. Then your job is to find the place where shields are missing from the walls. The owners of the shields will unbar the path going forward once returned. The rope lines can be used after finding the pulley and knock pond. Oh, and the tower is haunted. What? The tower's haunted. Nothing else, no other comment, no like where the tower is. Just tower's haunted, don't go to the tower, moon's haunted. Well, this is our weapon. Oh. Just waiting for them to like shoot me. Picked up the invertebrate's crossbow. Now this is a weapon. All right? Now this is a weapon. Now this is something we can work with. Let's put it away. Where's this go? Fuck, back to Deadwell. We're in Deadwell, though. Maybe I take a quick peek back in Deadwell. Maybe Deadwell's gotten better since last time. You know, maybe, like, the populace has realized how shitty they all are. And stuff's nicer than when I left. We gotta at least give Deadwell a chance, chat. Come on, let's at least give Deadwell a freaking chance. Let's give him a chance. I don't want to be in Deadwell anymore. I don't want to. Ah! <laughs> the demon has escaped, and it's it went right for the church. I'm not even surprised. Pet worm, no! And now the worm is also going for the church. Stop. There's still gremlins crawling around the church. Hey! Dude, stop! Can I have the key to that? <laughs> Can I have the key for this? <laughs> you did just see a demon and probably a worm uh, crawl in there, right? It grieves me to hear the things that you think you see. A horned creature flying into my church and a giant worm. Here is only peace and salvation to be found for a small indulgence. Okay, sir. I feel like if I jump at the right angle, I can literally see the worm from here. But if you say so... Hey. That ugly woman has escaped! Where did she go? Probably fled to do criminal activity, crimes of some kind. How'd she manage to get out? It's because she was a ghost, sir. Literally told you, like, five times. <laughs> they were always a ghost. I can't open that. I don't have the key. Alright, we're going back now. 
And there's no more reason to be here just yet. We have, no, we have no access to anything new yet. Did you write this game? The people seem dumb? Yeah, I'm the only smart person left, Chet. That's how it always is in video games, though, isn't it? Come on. They're always gonna be dumb. I'm always gonna be the smartest person. In the video game, all right? I got, I got, I have actual human brain. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of sad. Anyways. Let's explore Greenslit. One of the most dangerous realms of the, the realm. I need a pulley to use these zip lines, which I don't have. So, uh, let's go try to find one so we can actually use this map. I see something there. But I don't think I can get to that. Yeah, this place is a shithole. Uh, I guess I'll go up here. Up this really narrow rope. And get some permanent health. What's this? What is this hole? You need a working headlamp to enter the troll hole. I don't think I want to go in the troll hole. <laughs> Frankly, I don't think you could pay me to go in the troll hole. Hello? Yeah, I can't even go anywhere near the hole. I need to turn off auto run. Because I think I need to like traverse this super extremely fucking narrow corridor. To get whatever is like way down there. <laughs> this doesn't feel safe. And I didn't save. And I'm not on solid ground so I can't save. Yeah, I can't save at all. I had to do all this in one. Okay. Alright. Is that a pulley? That looks kind of like a pulley. Guys, if that's a pulley, whole game's change. Ah! Really? I saved it, troll hole. We're fine. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go even faster now. Get a load of this one. This won't kill me. I broke every bone in my body. I fucking died. No, I can do this fast, though. I can, I promise. Hop. Oh, no. I lived. You all thought I was dead that time. <laughs> because I said, oh, no. Sort of. Dude, my guy... Had auto run on. There we go. That's why I was still falling. A guy was auto running still because of the save. There we go. I was like, my guy's like flying off of this stuff. We got a crank for something. I didn't really check. I was. We got the crank marked dead. Well, I know where that goes. Chat, remember that elevator? Then I jumped down and I said, this looks like it goes to something. Remember that? And I saw like items on the ground. It's gonna be a long day. I have to get out. Once I get in, I still have to leave with the item. Which is kind of, um, kind of the hard part. Eh. J everyone just shut up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now that we're out of that, dude, this game looks... Say what you want about the visuals of the characters. The actual landscapes of this game look fucking awesome. This looks great from here. It's really pretty. I don't know if I want to go back to Deadwell just yet. 
Nah, let's go now. I'm at the- I'm near the entrance to Deadwell. We might as well go and do this crank thing. Why? I'm alive. Let's go back to Deadwell and we'll find out what this crank thing is about and follow that path so we don't get distracted by doing like 18 things at the same time. Uh, we'll go back to Deadwell and solve the mystery of the strange elevator shaft. And then, and only then, will we return to this place. Is that one of the shields? That is literally one of the shields I need. There's another one. I can't climb. Frick. Genuinely can't get them. But those are two of the five shields I need. This game successfully did what Skyrim tried. Timeless graphics and every vista looking like a painting. The visuals are very pretty. For, uh, this is a one-man team that made this whole thing. One guy. All the music, all of it. And yeah, gameplay is a little crusty here and there, but I think it works for it. Uh, they definitely, the visuals land. I think the map design is honestly the best part. I love the map design. It's got that sort of Dark Souls, sort of looping back in on itself. Metroidvania-esque shit that always tickles me, you know? All right. So what's down here? What's down here? In the secret grove. I tried to say secret, and I also tried to say sacred, and it came out as secret. The, the secret grove. All right. It's freaking... Oh my god. Oh my god! Get off of me! Get away! It's a boss! It's a boss battle! It's a boss battle! It's a boss! It's a boss! I lost him! I lost him! I'm running! I'm getting hit by it! Get it off of me! What is that? An axe! What is this? Exhumed axes will- it does the most damage out of everything in my entire inventory. Equip it. You dare battle me?! Get out of my fucking face! I drink the potions. I'm missing all the axe throws. I'm panicking. Jesus, it tracks so fast. Give me this rope wheel key. I got a key for something. Get off. Where is she? Where is she? I lost them. I don't know where they are. I heal. Just heal, heal the trees. Oh my god, yes, healing. Where did you go? Lady? They're there. I'm stuck on a tree. Got him. Fuck, I gotta pass this. Ah! What do I still have? I got seven arrows. Fucking ghost? <laughs> Fucking weird ass ghost lightning wench. She's not even coming down here. I missed. I panic missed. I saw them charge me and I panicked. Ah. Oh, huge gigantic hit. Second gigantic hit. Run by him. Run. Ah. Stay away from me. Don't freaking come near me. Don't even look at me. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah! She's still fucking alive! Ah! Ah! Got him. It's that easy. Why didn't I just leave? <laughs> Wait, why didn't I leave? Well, I got what I get from that. Rope wheel key. That's the key to in the witch's house. What are they hiding from me? Now, what the hell do those two... Totally fine, nice, nice ladies think they're hiding from me. Why the hell was the key to their house down here with this evil ghost? I'm going to confront them now. Didn't they say the ghost had the key? Oh yeah, they did. Then maybe I won't have to confront and kill them over this with my repeating crossbow. 
Maybe I'll just let them live. Where the hell's the lady? My tongue smell, you ugly monster. Slither out of my vision. Where did the initiate go in such a hurry? And what are you looking for? What? I curse you! Oh no, witch talk, not again. I've been cursed yet yet once more. She must have gone this way to hide whatever they're hiding back here. Probably a shield, no doubt. <laughs> a duel on the bridge, huh? I didn't think it would come to this lady. But if it comes down to me or you, it might as well be me. I mean you. Dude, I'm gonna shove her right off of this thing if she comes at me. Come to me and I will show you where to go. Oh, all right. She pushed me off and herself. And now we're dead, we're both dead. <laughs> that was sus as hell. Why'd she do that? Uh, she just, she tricked me. Uh, she fooled me into it and then I fell and died. I don't know whether to trust you, I'm just gonna... I can't shoot her. I clocked her once in the face with a... That was like she blasted off like fucking Team Rocket, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> it sounds like Kraken screaming. <laughs> Kraken. Kraken, he just got here. Perfect. Listen to this again. I swear to God, this sounds like you doing a voice. This sounds like you doing a voice. Listen. That sounds like you doing a fucking voice. You know I'm right. <laughs> yes! Whatever, we defeated her. <laughs> I don't know why she fought me, but we won. I'm gonna go over here first, which might have been the way to keep her alive and not kill her. I don't know. I'm gonna at least check. Maybe it matters. Ooh. That's one extra permanent HP. That brings my HP up to 102, which is like nothing. That's like worthless. It's like dirt. What was she hiding that she was so afraid of us getting our hands on? The giant wheel. This is so fucking cringe, dude. Oh my god. Whatever. No one look. <laughs> I'm gonna jump it from here. Check this out. Boom. In one, easy. <laughs> oh, there's a shield. We did it. This was all for a shield, baby. That was one, it's one of the five shields we need. So now we're at two. Unless we can't reach it from here. I really don't know. Oh, we can totally reach it if we go around. It's gotta be like a secret path. Oh, yeah. It's as simple as that. Now, this chat is what I would describe as ascendant map design. I would describe this as ascendant... Dark Souls tier math, like map design. I, I, this is some good fucking map design here. It all comes on back. What a devious lick. Dude, that's an angelic yield if I've ever seen it, dude. The pack shield. How do I get home now? Wait, how do I get back? I don't feel like I can make that jump. Can I? I might be able to. I can make it. I'll die though, but I could make it. I'm gonna try it from the bottom, like from here. Try it from here. I can also make it from here. We're going back to the green place. We got the twin shield and the pack shield. Still looking for more shields and we need to go to knock pond in order to find rope line, to ride the rope lines. I have no idea how to fucking get to Knock Pond. I don't have a map to Knock Pond. I don't know where Knock Pond is. I don't know if that's a concept or if it's like an address. I don't know what Knock Pond is, but uh, we kind of need to, I actually want to play this game. Guys, I'm not joking when I say this game is like a fucking hidden indie gem. 
it, I would honestly highly recommend it. Like, as like a, so far from what I've played, I've played like four hours total, I think, including from now. And uh, it's one of those just like, it has like 30 reviews or something, or like maybe 20 on Steam. It came out like two months ago. Like, no one played it. No one's even like heard it. I got cursed by that witch, and now she won't let me leave until I fucking put her down like a dog. All right, lady. All right. Where you at? Now come out. I fucking see her, that bitch. <laughs> She's up there in the skies. I saw her fucking, saw her freaking broom. Really? Really, I actually have to shoot you down? Lady? Oh my god. She's really camping the exit. I can't go to Green Slit until I kill this old bag. It's gonna take forever. I think I have real arrows. I need her to come lower to the ground. She's too high. You're as good as dead now. I missed her. Of course I fucking missed her. Maybe I sit right here. And just slide it like this. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. She's hard. This is hard to hit. She's like camping me in a really awkward location. But the arrow does incredible damage to her body. Never mind. Oh yeah, she's taking it. There's not many. There's not much ammo to use up here though, which is kind of a problem. I'm gonna have to switch to the rock soon. Where'd she go? There she is. She comes. Another gigantic hit. We're gonna switch to just using the rock. Okay, the rock might be a little rough for this. <laughs> Gigantic damage with the rock. This is the way we do it. She's half dead. <laughs> I'm not hitting her for anything. I need to get. I need to like run in a direction to pull her away from spots. But the rock. The rock will take her life. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I hit her. Ah! This is so hard, dude. She's at such a weird angle. <laughs> Gigantic. Lady, she died on her own. I didn't even attack her. I, I had her. She fell on her own. She was. She, she sounded just like my friend Crank, and I shit you not. It was hilarious. Please, freaking. This is sad. Yeah! Maybe I go straight to her place and gun her down right there. Chat, it's like there's no guardrails, okay? On. There's no guardrails. No guardrails. It's hard to aim, dude. It's hard to aim, and I don't have infinite health. I don't know what you fucking want from me. There's no way to bring it down to the, down to the surface. She's just dancing all around me. I can't beat her. She's the strongest fucking character in the whole freaking game, dude. <laughs> I have an idea. She may not have sealed the basement, which has a guardrails. How low is she willing to go to chase me? Because perhaps I can run up past her and then like tackle her when she's lower than me. It seems that she's not willing to go any lower than this. Fuck. Yeah, I just gotta get good with 81 health. She's pretty low. She's relatively, oh my God. Oh my God, God. <laughs> You're real low right now, lady. This is the spot. This is the spot. Right here. She comes real low. She comes real low and she like strafes like an idiot right here. Yep, right here. Gigantic damage. It's really good damage with the rock. Huge. Just huge damage on the rock. Huge damage.
please stop. Lady, please. <laughs> Lady, please. It's not even like an ambush anymore. Now it's just embarrassing. Uh, did she activate like a new phase? Is she going in for strafing? She's strafing. She's trying to bite me. That was absolutely an attempt at biting me. She's trying to bite me. Uh, stop. Ah! I don't like her. God. Why couldn't she have just stayed an old bag, dude? Ah! All right. I'm going to finish it the rest of the way with my MG. Oh, my God. That shot, that's scary. I, I, I don't like it. I can't die this. I'm so close to winning. <sighs> Why? I'm switching back to the rock. Why won't you die? Please, 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 thank you, thank you. What did she say when she was going to wait for me? Sourwood? I'm never going there. <laughs> Well, I don't, that's fine, lady, because I don't plan on going there. Fuck you. I'm not going to Sourwood. You ain't never catching me in Sourwood. All right? Nobody is going to Sourwood. Did she leave? I didn't even kill her. She just left, and she was like, I'll see you in Sourwood. These two are so evil. These are evil goats. I should kill them. But I can't. I have glowing eyes. I'm so, I'm so sick of those gremlins, too. The little goblins. Well, chat, back to green slit. That was a bit of a detour to get that shield, but we got it. No one can ever take that away from us. Okay? We got the shield. We got everything we needed. And now all we have to worry about is uh, the tower, which is haunted. You guys remember that? You guys remember that the tower is just fucking haunted, apparently? That was like a weird random detail to just like give. I'm guessing there's a shield in the tower then, wherever that is. It's haunted though. And we can't go into the troll hole without paying the toll, which is two headlamps. Which I know for a fact because I found one while playing a tiny bit of this zone earlier. Before I stopped playing, before I ripped myself away because I wanted to stream it. Is this a real game, or is this one of those uh, $2.35 games you grab on Steam and then never beat because they're buggy? I don't know. Have we bumped into any bugs? Does it look like it's worth $2? <laughs> sort of up for you to decide that. Bumped into actual bugs. There's a tick earlier. Did I explore the rest of the way up here? I want to make sure I don't like get too, like, too many detours. I don't want to, I want to stick to like one path of the map at a time because this place is a fucking maze. Let's check this spot over here. Okay, that's a big fucking bug. There's a bug right there. I got him. We got it taken care of. That bug isn't going to do anything no more. Oh, they're all over me. Oh, they're all over me. Oh, they're all over me and I'm falling. They're all over me and I'm falling and I can't aim. But I need their souls, so I absolutely have to kill them. Remember, I need to collect their souls for my dark work. This music is haunting, dude. I don't like this music. It makes me sort of uncomfortable. Uh... Hello? I found a broken headlamp. Find one more to fix it. Oh, no. Chat? I know where the other broken headlamp is. I didn't find this one when I was testing. <laughs> I 
I was like, there's no way I'm going to get, I get to go to the troll hole before I get all five shields. There's just no way. I guess we're going in the troll hole. Because I know how to get in there then. I'm hearing noises that are not the bug. Yep. 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 Dude, I'm so bad at hitting this guy. It's like a swarm of ants. Oh, it's an actual ant hill. These are called uh, free souls. <laughs> one at a time, please. One at a time. Will more come out? Or did I defeat them? I believe I defeated them. Whoa. You try to avoid going in holes like this. Unless it immediately spits you out at the exact uh, tower you were just looking at. Giving you, uh, it's giving you some arrows. And a uh, coil of rope for a ballista. Not that I think I need one. I haven't seen any ballistas around. But maybe I do. Maybe that'll come up. More ammo. The invertebrate crossbow. Uh, why is, oh, it's already, that's why I couldn't see it. It was already in my hands. It's definitely the best weapon for killing these tiny bugs. Absolutely 100%. So where the heck's that tower that's haunted? Cause that's definitely in this zone, right? It's gotta be. The haunted tower has to be somewhere in the troll hall. Hall for troll. That way. There's no other sign though, so I don't know where else I'm going. Look, we'll know this tower when we. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think that's the haunted tower. I think we avoid that tower unless we want to get haunted and die bugs I can't take this path because I don't own a fucking pulley so we're going this way yeah that's a fucking haunted tower there is absolutely no way in a million years that tower doesn't have at least one ghoul in it or some kind of specter or a ghost or like a, even like a kitchen goblin kind of tier threat. Something, anything. But we keep going closer. It keeps just telling me to go closer. All the path thing is saying go closer to the haunted fucking tower. But that doesn't make any freaking sense. Why would it tell me to... Strange goblin or something in water? Down here, I might go to that. Oh, there they are. One second, I gotta reload. Thank you. Okay, they're all over me. They're ripping my face off. They're trying. Stop. Stop. Actually, stop. I'm panicking. I'm panicking and my aim gets worse. Dude. Thank God for this crossbow. These guys are... These guys wiggle around really fast. They're sort of hard to aim. So what is this? Bears. I'm gonna go this way. Just pick a direction at a time and go that way. Bad news. Yeah, we got bears. That's never... You don't want to bump into bears in a game like this. But they can't be that bad. No worse than the fucking bugs. Unless you, like me, and you fucking actually can't hit them. That guy shouldn't have taken all of my ammo. That's for sure. What horrors await us down here in the next scary tunnel? Nothing. I just pulled- I pulled something. Something opened somewhere. Probably like a door. Yeah, I just said it. Alright, probably like a tower. Probably to... The haunted tower. We should all be keenly aware by now that that tower's probably got a curse. Oh, no, it's probably to this tower. Unless this is the haunted tower. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Nah, this one's not haunted. This one's already over. We're just getting really close to the haunted tower is all. You gotta save ground and save. God dang it. Crushed by his own friend. It's the only reason he's dead. Well, looks like we can get into the haunted tower through this freaking door. Ah, oh, shucks. Ah, oh, dang. Ah, oh, we're not going to be able to go into the haunted tower. That's just too bad. We're going to have to go this way. That's likely safer. More comfortable for us. There's a moose up there. Do I even want to fight him? It feels like it's just going to be a waste of ammo unless he drops something. He doesn't have much health. He's, he's like a mini bus. And he's just running around like an idiot. I don't even think he can hit me. Oh, he tried. He actually tried. Stop, dude. 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 Ah. He hurt like fucking hell when he hit me. All right. I'm taking you down with the rock. Easy. The moose falls by my hands. Why did I kill him, though? Is there anything here? Was there any reason? There's a bridge, but it's out. Why did I do that to him? Why did I, why did I kill that moose? For a potion? Why did I... Oh, for this. Ah, uh, yes. This will... Five shields are missing from the walls. This is where I use the shields. One, two, I don't own any more, so unfortunately that's all we have. I will assume the trolls have a shield, and I will assume the haunted tower has a shield, which leaves us missing one shield, which is unfortunate. Uh, what is the point of this? Oh, I guess for these zip lines, which we can't use because, uh, ha 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 ha. We don't own a pulley. Why do I feel like the trolls have the pulley, too? Let's just go in here. Bug. Bug that talks rocks at me. I, I do that, too. I don't need that potion. Another bug. Bigger bug. Survives a whole rock hit. That's a hefty bug. That might be one of the strongest bugs we've bumped into so far. There's hundreds of them. Oh, Jesus! Stop. Dude, die. Dude, die. Dude, freaking die already. There you go. That guy had a lot of health. They're all strong enough to survive, like, a double hit. Stop. <laughs> Fucking stop throwing rocks. Yeah. Yeah, that did just happen, chat. It did just happen live on stream, too. Let's ride. Oh, no. Oh, no, I actually shouldn't have gone this way. Oh my god, I'm being fucking cornered by- I'm fine. These tunnels, these fucking crevasses are awfully strange, Chad. God knows what we'll find in a place like this. God truly knows. Whatever it is, it's not that fucking way. I know that. I do know that. Souls, tell me I have enough. Tell me I have enough. I did. See, I've been careful and making sure I kill as many things as possible so I always have enough souls to access the next thing. The thing is, you also don't want to kill too many because it eats all of your souls. Where am I? What is this beautiful grove? 
Psych, I actually know where I am because this is exactly where I stopped playing on my own. I just repaired the headlamp, meaning now we have to go to... <sighs> the troll hole. We're gonna have to go into the troll hole. No, I got back up. No, I gotta save my game. I don't know if I ever saved. Who is this person? Hello? Are you like a gonna ferry me? Let me ferry you to the other side. Yeah, can you park right there? So I can save? Yeah, I'll be right back. I don't trust that person as far as I can throw him. There's no reason I just build a bridge. I can't fucking see if I'm interacting with them all the way from here. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna jump and miss the fucking boat. Oh, god damn it. Hey! Back over here again, ma'am. Yeah, remember me? Yeah. Right back here. I'm gonna jump for it. Hey. Let me ferry you to the other side. Nice, this is pretty fast. You're a lot, you seemed a lot slower at first, but now you're pretty good. You're not like a psycho, are you? Because I will gun you down. In fact, I'm going to load up just in case. Last fucking weirdo I saw was a witch, and she tried to push me into a, off a bridge into a river. Uh, like a hundred. I am Ratham Narg. Heard about the family witches. They live in a cozy wood called Sourwood beyond Nogpon. You should visit them. They found a wonderful thing they want to show you. There's a nice cabin in the bog where you can sleep while there. Oh, you're a witch? You, uh, friends with that other lady? The other two? Ret, Ret, Retom? You know them? Because I really want any trouble. If you could just tell them that, like, that was all big misunderstanding. This is too far. I can't jump to there. Can you pull me closer? She's gonna fucking kill me. Help. Do I jump? Oh my god, she's naked! Oh, she's getting naked! Help! Help! When is it? She's flying away! She's, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! She's drowning me! Hello? Jump! I'm jumping. I lived, idiot. <laughs> Better luck next time. She's also a witch. I think I'm gonna have to kill her too. I'm going to kill all of them. What's up with the boat? It, well, it wasn't a very good boat, which is why it sunk. Oh, that's cool. It knocked this thing over so I never have to use the fucking ferry again, which is good because that lady's gone and never coming back. But where am I anyways? Perhaps this will lead me to another shield. Or, or it'll lead me to... Or it'll... It'll lead me to... Lead me into the... Or it'll lead me towards the... Um... I'm not scared or nothing, I'm just... Fuck, fuck. Or to lead me to... Into the... Into the... Into the... That didn't seem very haunted. Yeah, I was in there for like a whole second. If it was haunted, something would have attacked me right then. Right? If it was haunted, you bet your ass some fucking goblin would have come and stabbed me the second I got in there. Let's just take a poke upstairs. Alright, it's fucking haunted. It's insanely haunted. That is that is extremely haunted. I I got like my arm got ripped off the second I walked, like I passed a threshold. Like 18 separate ghosts started punching me in the face. Shield. Fucking knew it. 
I found the flying shield. Carved into the shield, another shield is located above the trolls. Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta go to the troll, dude. Gotta pay the troll toll. I can't save and chat. Here's the thing. I know this is gonna make me shoot. It's gonna make me shoot a rope, and I don't have a- Even if I connect this to that side, I don't have a pulley, so I can't use it to escape. I have to go- I have to live. I have to survive going back downstairs the old-fashioned way. If I even do this right, which I won't. I missed. You missed. Slowly reload the gun. All right. I'll give this another go. Might as well do it while I'm here. You missed, fucking idiot. Slowly reload the gun. Okay, how many more ballistas do I have? <laughs> you try another. What about here? Yeah, I actually hit it. I was not expecting to. But I don't need, I don't have a pulley. Which means chat. I have to get back. Oh, it's let me save. It let me save. Okay. We have to get back downstairs without the monster. The monster's getting us. I'm going to fall right down the middle. Easy. Actually, Galaxy Brain, dude. Easy. I don't know where that pulley is. I f it makes me feel like I missed it, but I don't know if I did. You know what I mean? Either way, let's go to, let's go to the trolls. Was there a lower floor? That's where we came in. We're gonna go hang out with the trolls. This is gonna be perfect, Chad. Really? I just like s bounced right off of it. All right, we're gonna do a quick rewind of that one. Chat. Besides, we need the extra time to pull ourselves together. Because I feel like some of you aren't taking it seriously that we have to go into the troll hole. Um, when I looked up reviews for this game, the one thing I did see a lot of was people saying, fuck you, Dev, for the troll hole. I don't know what that means. But a lot of people were saying, fuck this zone, fuck the troll hole. Which leaves me a little nervous and unsettled, frankly. That way for the trolls. <sighs> yeah. Up on over this way, the troll zone. Y'all know how it works. Through this grove is the troll zone. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. But we'll save. We'll make a real save for this. We're going in. To the... To the freaking troll hall. Descend into troll hall. Yeah. Hello? Any fucking trolls? <laughs> Any trolls in the hole? I hear something. It's bats. It's just bats. I don't think they're evil. They're following me around. I think they might be evil. I'm gonna gun them down if I see them again. I do not kill the bats. They are just present. Okay. What is this? 
I am exploring these caves and will leave tablets behind. I encountered a summoner, a little greenish troll. It will summon troll spawn. Many have died fighting the troll spawn, but it is the summoner itself you must kill to end it. Told me there's like summoners that summon more, yet more trolls into the hole. Endless trolls. Hey! I think that was the troll. It's that fucking baby troll with the diaper on. Fucking little shit. I see his health bar. He's got boss health. I'm doing a lot of damage, but he keeps making, like, stuff in front of him. I almost got him. Thank God for this thing. Thank God for the crossbow. Oh! Hey, I'll see you next time, all right, you stupid idiot troll? <laughs> next time, lock the hole. Don't want someone like me coming in. Gotta watch yourself out of here. I crossed the pond. In the troll hole. He like stretched. This bat, these bats are flying around me like mosquitoes. Bats don't do this. So that was the one troll summoner, right? Like that's the only problem. I see. Get. I see. There's more items up ahead, which worries me. <clears throat> Beware. Rock elementals. They can only be destroyed by the same element they are made of. Other weapons will only break on impact. So you're telling me I should uh, just use the rock? That's fine. Come out. Come out. Oh, no. They're those big guys. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Do they huck things? Yeah, they throw rocks. They throw rocks. They throw a lot of rocks. That hurt like fucking hell. Oh my god. There's a fucking lady. There's like bees in the way. I can't leave. Oh, fuck you guys, all right? Fuck all of you, dude. Fuck you. Fine, I'll run in circles like you guys want me to. Fine. <laughs> How am I? I? There's three targets. I can't miss them. I keep missing them. Just focus one guy. This guy. He, he dodged it. Just focus this guy. Right here. This one's almost dead. One in the middle is almost dead. That one's my target. He just moved. I don't know which one's which now. I got one. Yeah, we got these guys. We got them. They're not going fucking anywhere now. Just a couple of disgusting rock elementals. No, no more worrying than a mosquito. Pathetic. Shouldn't have come to the troll hall, alright? Because everyone knew I was going to come into this place because of the name alone. You chose your death. You chose your death the second you walked into this hole. Alright. This isn't so bad? Yeah, it's not that bad, actually. The troll hole's not that bad. Do not hope to kill the guardian. Run away and pray to your god. Those who tried to fight it are still here, lost forever. To help you, I've left a bag with some foul bait further down. Okay, troll hole fucking sucks. Troll, officially as of the guardian, sucks eggs. Well, where is he? The mines. Moria! The mines. The mines. Get lost. I'm running. Dude, it was that easy. I didn't even need to use bait. There's more. Nope, that wasn't even it. This is the bait. Left mouse button to throw flesh ball. Oh my god. 
Over there, please. Stay over there. Give me this. Remain over there, please! Please! Thank you. Ah! Ah! Go to that thing! There's flesh over there. You like flesh? Did it. Easy. Saved. Not another fucking goblin. Dude, I swear to freaking God, I will rip you up. Where's my fucking hatchet? I'm gonna fucking cut you up, boy. Where are you running? Hmm? Fucking weird ass baby. Stop squirming. I defeated him. All of his spawn still live. Which kind of sucks. Uh-uh. Uh no. 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 No, 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 no. Too many. What is this? Fucking EDF? Get away from me! Get away from me, dude. What is this place? What the fuck is the troll hole, dude? I haven't seen- I've only seen two trolls! Dude, I've only seen, like, one or two trolls in this hole. Most of the enemies haven't been trolls. They're not even troll- I, I squint and I don't even see a troll looking at this. I see a spider anyways. But like a bad spider, like one of the really gross kinds with the long legs. There's literally a thousand of them and I can't reach the ammo block for the crossbow. So I'm just kind of pushing through with what I got, chat. Give me this! Give me this! Get off my face! Get off! Dude, there's so many! Ah! Stop! It's fine, chat. I'm getting their souls. It's not a total loss. Th there are literally hundreds. I am baffled by the amount of just fucking bullshit in the troll hall. The flute fucker never said anything about the troll hall. He said haunted towers. And he said five shields. He never said, watch out though, because the troll hole is so bad, you're gonna wanna die. I'm now getting why people said, fuck the troll hole. It's like a gauntlet of laughs. It's just a whole fucking real fun experience all around. But I think this is the end of the hole. I, I'm almost positive, chat. I've reached the end of the hole as we know it. Yeah, this is empty. Is that a blade? A holy blade to fell the demons? Shredding swords. Swords from below will release parts of itself, then cross over into the afterlife. It is not affected by gravity. Okay. Well, we have one axe left. I'd rather use the axe I have and then try it out. I, we throw them, chat. Yeah, we throw the, We throw everything. There's no melee weapons in this game. Oh, oh, cool! Chat, this is here, so if you ran by all the spiders, the dev can go, fuck you, turn around and kill my monsters. You have to have the souls of the spiders to open the hole in the troll hole. There can't be much more hole. There's so much more hole. Why? This bat this troll hole better spit me out at the pond I need for the pulley. It better. It's going deeper. The troll Guys, dude, streamer, you're only at level one of the troll hole, dude. <laughs> streamer, there's like 18 more levels of the hole, man. That was like level one. Those weren't even trolls. Those are baby trolls. You're not at the guardian. That wasn't even the guardian. That was just a squid. Going down. Someone was like, this feels like the forest. It really does all of a sudden. I'm just going deeper into this hole. Going down. <laughs> how much deeper can you go before it's not funny anymore though? You know? Like how much deeper 
can the hole go before it's getting a little silly? About this deep, I would say. Get me. This is safe ground, I promise. Hello? Oh, oh yo. Know that the Guardian has followed into the waters below. The mountain is rotten. However, rapid fire on the arm seems to scare it away from a much needed few moments. I need to rest here. I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep in this box. I'm just going to nap in this box. I'm, a, I, I'm just going to take a nap in this box and close the lid over me. Just like a blanket. I'm going to nap inside the box. Give me this weapon. Oh my god, Chad. The rotating crossbow. This game's got some cool weapons. And I'll reload. Since we're right here. I love that it's all crossbows and like range stuff, despite the fact that everything's like a melee monster. What's good, idiot? Hang on, I need to actually equip this. Okay. I'm gonna save over here. I guess currently I can't, he's interacting with me. I'm being interacted with. <laughs> he knocked me into the water. One of the arms just slapped me on the on the bum. Right into the dang water as I was jumping for it. I missed. That was even more embarrassing than the last time. This time though? This time though for sure. Okay, I'm gonna speed run this shit. Bada ping. Bada bam. I'm gonna ignore him. You can't. But he's not hurting me. <laughs> he dunked me. All right, he, he wasn't hurting me at first. I was like, maybe I could like sort of like use him. You can't. Okay, I gotta kill all the arms here. I absolutely. He uh, just grabbed me by the leg and pulled me right on in that time. I didn't even have a chance to react to that one. He just fucking yoinked me right on in there. I kind of want the flesh balls back. Those worked a lot better. Fuck off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going for it. Nah! I'm gonna die. Fuck off! Go away! I want this item. I want this stuff. Give it to me. Give me a hand on here! What is that? Hang on. I was bitten many times by cave spiders. I do not have the strength to fight a large troll waiting down this hole. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have the strength to fight the large troll hiding, hiding in this hole. I better go back to that side cave and heal up, be in my trusty rotating crossbow. I will leave most weapon and healing items here until I am ready to go down into the troll hole. Dude, I need to save? There we go. I'm gonna save properly right here. All right, you son of a bitch troll! In this freaking hole! That looked big, but I couldn't tell. Oh my god. Ah! This is doing negative damage. I'm gonna take my chances with the fucking axe. Oh no, the fucking lad. The wee lad. 
The child. This fucking guy's got like special moves and abilities. He's like got charge attacks and shit. I'm trying to get the fucking potions. The la the lad, the wee lad, is around. I'm, I'm, I draw the sword, the legendary sword, the sword from below. Draw the sword. Rawr! That missed so bad. Rawr! I missed him again. That time I hit him. That time I hit him again. Grab the potion. Grab potions. Just grab potions. Grab potions. Heal. Grab potions. But worry about the small boy. That's also so many monsters once I've killed the troll. He's got me pinned! Ow. Everything on my body has been shattered by the troll's very huge, gigantic arms. I think the troll child died at some point. No, there he is. He's still alive. Get off of me! Get off of me! All right? I equipped the bow. He hit me from a mile away and I'm stuck in a corner. I'm dead. I'm dead! Player died. The player has been humiliated by the enemy. Humiliated. This rotating crossbow is not a, I would say, troll killing kind of weapon. I would argue my best kit for this fight is the invertebrate crossbow to kill the small lad. Actually, you know what? It would be good for killing a small lad. We kill the small lad with the rotating crossbow. Yes, we use the rotating crossbow to slay the small child. Once the small child is dead, the troll is a lot easier to deal with because there's less stuff to run around. But I, didn't, I only saw the small child once in the battle. He was very wily. He was quiet and quick, like a troll. I'm going to burn all of my axes and swords first. And just try not to miss. I need to aim low. I see him. I see the boy. Focus on boy. His reach is insane. I don't think I hit the boy once and I'm just getting comboed by this guy. Stop, bro. Bro, I just want to... I just want to kill your son! He killed me. I think I did better when I wasn't attacking the kid. I just stuck with my guns. I need to aim lower. I'm killing the kid. Yeah, he's almost dead. One more hit and he's fucking dead. Dead! Dead! Killed it. Already dead. Slay, slay the child in one attack. One fell swoop, the child is dead. I took his head off. But there's still demons around. Because they don't disappear until, uh... They don't disappear just yet. I reload the invertebrate crossbow. Oh my god. Oh! That doesn't do damage, though. Get off of me. Well, good news is, God, that attack is, I, it's like, the, it, Chad, it's obviously not a very good game for dodging and weaving. So you gotta give me a little bit of a break here if I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff. It's not really that kind of game. I'm really just kind of taking, knowing I'm taking hits and just accepting that I will heal possibly more than he will deal damage to me. And that's kind of what we're going for. Cause I don't have like a dodge move or anything like that. I'm just trying to take, I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can before he does damage to me and inevitably kills me. He pinned me. This might be it. I gotta heal. He's close. If I hit with all these bow hits that I have, all the bow ammo I have, I might get him. Fuck, that attack is brutal. Please. Please. Please don't. Troll! Die in the hole! <sighs> he dies in this hole. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of this place.
What is this? Oh, it opened like a secret passage. That's cool. Kind of needed that. Is that the only reason I went down here? Troll, don't you have like a shield? Oh, that's the way I came in. This is a separate side. Okay. I was like, I don't want to just come back up the way I came. I want my shield that I'm owed. You guys have my... Oh, it's like a... These are like thrones. Look, they're like seats. This is the troll throne room. Was. Until I killed him. But that... I only count one dead troll. And there's two more piles of corpses in front of those thrones. Chat. All I'm saying is that I feel like there might be more trolls that aren't the ones here in the troll hall. Oh, neato. Wait, I'm gonna get ran over and then fucking die. I'm gonna save right here. Yeah, right. We go up first because that's where they said the shield was. Ah! Really? Wait, really? Okay, I need my- I need a weapon! I need a weapon to kill these guys. They're fucking hitting me as they drive by. Apparently that was all of them. They were all just waiting at the top to hit me. <laughs> That's some, like, dead space that's like yeah no, that's like dark souls a bunch of hollows hiding pretending to be dead on the ground until the second you walk by to pick up the treasure what's at the bottom probably a bunch of dead guys right now <laughs> if i had to guess i'm gonna go down there anyways wait is this an exit cannot leave while interacting what am i interacting with oh it's gotta go all the way back down if this takes me back outside, we're going to go down first then. Hang on, I'm going to reload. And then I'll also get to keep some of my HP. It's a win-win. Try it. It's just water. It's just water. It just takes you to water, but we did get us a potion that we didn't have before. So it was worth going back for. Boost our carry capacity so we can carry more weapons and ammo. It's like attacks. I, I hit that one. He didn't hit me back, but... It looks like if I hit them, they struggle to hit me first. Like, as long as I get them before they get me, they'll miss. That's fine. Wait, trolls are just falling to their deaths? I think those were like gnomes or dwarves. Those didn't look like trolls to me. But what do I know? It's not like I slayed two separate trolls. Sorry, three separate trolls. No, four separate trolls. It's not like I slayed not only two, three infant trolls, but I also slayed their dad. It's not like I have... I've killed five to ten separate trolls in my time. So thus I'd know the difference. Okay, we're going to green slit. Let's ride. This should spit us out at the shield or I'm going to be fucking furious. Hey. The shields were removed a long time ago. They will summon the ones that once owned them. You need to hit them where the shields do not cover them. Do this to open the path to knock pot and do not miss the shield on your way down from here or I shall truly name you useless in all the lands huh hey you tell me there's like some spirits of the shield guys that are gonna try to stop me doggy the night shield this one didn't give me a hint on where the next shields are. We got a shield. So, we need to find and remount the five shields. We have two shields on us right now. We've already mounted two, so we're still missing one. Get the item at the end of the ballista rope line we can't get without going to the next place. Another shield is located near the stone bears in Greenslit. 
we had an arrow to that, but I have no idea where those bears were. I just know the label. Also, I get... Oh, there's more. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're fine. I, I saw a sign to the bears, but I didn't actually... We even know... We, there it is. Like, we just can't get to it without uh, just getting over to that side. So here are the bears. So we want to be on this side of the cliff. She was needing to get up there. Across that bridge. God, this fucking map. Yeah, we want to be right there. That's fine. We know how to do this. We're kind of geniuses. And we never went this way before. So this time we'll go this way, which will probably spit us out where we need to go. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I have no idea where I am. But I know that way goes to the troll hole, which I don't want to go. So we'll keep following this way until we find a way I'm not familiar with. There's got to be at least one more path and still no fucking pulley. Yeah, it's a real shame about that. But hey, they can't keep fucking me over forever. Eventually they'll get bored and they'll stop it. Can I go up this cliff? I don't, anywhere? No. I'm not seeing any cliff I can go up over there. But that doesn't look like a bear to me. So I'm going to stay on this fucking part here. For now. What the fuck? I haven't been here before. Oh, this is new, baby. Chat, this is a new one. Bada bing and we get ourselves a fucking axe. There's actually a bear in the hole. Ah, why won't you just die? Why don't you just give it up, man? The repeating crossbow, you don't stand. Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave his hole. Oh, this bear gets slapped by the fucking rocks, dude. What the fuck? Bear is too afraid to leave the hole. Pathetic. And now it's dead. And its shield that has been protecting is... Mine. Once I get past these freaking guys. These weird sort of bugs. Look, dude, I'm just happy to have their souls. Equip the X. We can't carry anymore, but I want to use the rest before it's too late. Where the fuck are we? We use these now that I can grab the uh, next pack of them and not waste them. Easy. All right. Simple as that. There better be a fucking. I don't. I'm. I know the layout of this map well enough to know there is not a single fucking way this spits me out near that shield, and this was a whole gigantic waste of my goddamn time. And all of our time, collectively. I know the layout of the map. It's not gonna fucking do it. Like, where is this taking me? Fuck you. Where are we? Dude, Norway actually looks like this, huh? This is like just what Norway looks like all the time. This isn't gonna... No. No, 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 no. No, it can't... That's not how map do. You can't make it shape like this. No. 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 Humiliated, reeling. We have every shield. All we must do now is go back to the angry moose by the tower. And hang up all the shields, which will allow us to go to the next area and leave Greenslit forever. I think. Unless we're short a shield. Which we aren't, because I counted. We're that powerful. And evidently, a pulley was not necessary to solve any part of this entire game. So I'm honestly sort of stressed out about what the pulleys are used for. I guess backtracking, which might be necessary. It probably is. This game feels like it probably thrives on backtracking. And that's fine. To an extent. Let's just get to the moose. 
I don't remember the way there. Really, I guess I go down. I think I go to the tower and then I follow like a cliffside, right? And that gets me to the moose. Yes. It gets me to the dead moose. Looks like they were pulling your leg. Ha 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 ha, Chatlet, you're killing me. You re you really are. Oh my god. So they gave us a tip on how to kill these shield guys. I see three missing shield mounts. Arise, warriors of the shields, arise. Come to the flame outside with your bow. Uh, I don't actually use the bow much anymore, but sure. Hello? Oh. Shields up, we will attack one at a time. Okay. Asshole? Jackass? Guys, chill out or I will fucking pull out my actual gun. Okay, that I own. I own one of those. Guys, if you attack one at a time, that means you like don't just switch people after a certain amount of time. You can't just like be like, we attack one at a time, but like one guy attacks one time and then another guy attacks a different time. You guys are like, si calm down, stop. You guys are making me hold S and shift at the same time. I need these potions. I don't have to wait. I don't have to listen to them. I don't have to play along with their game. I can attack them in whatever order I want. This guy's fucking dead. Ow, they're gonna fucking kill me. My body. Get away from me! Get away from me! Alright, you pissed me off! Now I'm gonna pull out the exhumed throwing axe of death! You think it's good? Come on! Just you and me, son. Come on, show me what you got! Should I just use the frickin' axe the whole time? Why did I even ever use the bow? The axe, I should use the axe to clear the, the, like, the initial pack. Also, I should pick up all these before I touch the fucking fire. <laughs> they only spawn once you touch the fire. That guy got so fu- That guy's gotta be pissed, guys. That dude's gotta be so fucking mad. They didn't even get a chance to tell me the rules of the game before I just caved one of their fucking spirit heads in with my, with an axe. I like, spawn killed him. Now I'm just gonna go after the next guy. I missed the axe. I'm dying. You. You're next. I'm missing with the axe quite a bit. Which is really embarrassing. <laughs> where's uh, where's my bow at? Where's my freaking bow at? Get away from me. Dude, they're so fast. They're so fast and so mad at me. And I think they're angrier than last time. I think it's because of what I did to that guy. I think it's what I did to their boy. <sighs> Just me and you, son! Ugh. He's gonna kill me! Ah, no, this can't be happening! This can't happen to me. One arrow, one life, one chance! He had more health than that. One arrow, one shot. Easy. No health, no chances. You shall pass? Wait, to what? Is this, did you open the path for me, sir? Because I am low on health. I'll have to go back to my doctor. Thanks, guys. Whoa, that was seamless. Bye. Cool shit. I can't get over this fucking ledge. Did they just crush themselves? They finally passed on now that I've sealed their souls away. Oh, cool health potion. I really freaking needed that. We're at the other side.
You know, it's a nice touch that the ground was uh, watery at the very bottom where we would have been going beneath the river. Remember in the tunnel, it was like watery at that one spot. Nice touch. It's a knock pond. Knock pond. This is officially all new content for me in every single way imaginable. And it only took three and a half hours. Wow, this pond is actually freaking beautiful. What the fuck? In a sort of fucked up kind of way. There is an ancient entity called Nokken in the pond. Shooting it is pointless. If you must, you must move if you hear it call. The draw will make you drown yourself. Locate a witch statue that is hidden on the other side under a frog. Someone removed a part of the statue and the bridge to Sourwood was blocked. And there is a new weapon here. Find the bear crossbow and the goat lever to use it. Thanks, old man. I can't save yet. So the knocking is going to be a problem, apparently. Let's hug the side of the lake for now, or the pond, so as to not bump into a knockin'. Is that a fucking moose again? Really, moose? You really thought you were gonna get me with that one? With something so... with so little effort? It doesn't even stand a fucking chance. Yeah, this guy's done. Dead. He was nothing. Is this safe to traverse? Yeah. Maybe the knocking ain't gonna be that... Why? Why? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? That moose shredded me into fucking paste. I don't remember saving underneath that moose that was alive. <laughs> I remember that moose being dead. It's a good thing I saved an actual save. Just in case something like that happens. Accurate IRL. Yeah, sometimes moose just... They're, they're, they're multiplying. There's more moose this time. Why am I even wasting ammo on these freaking mooses? They live forever. Like, they, they don't give me anything worth killing them for at all. They're just kind of ammo vacuums, really. I can't let them reach me. They will rip me to shreds. Ah! Where am I? Where's my invertebrate crossbow? I miss so much with this crossbow, dude. Yeah, this time there ain't gonna be any more mooses to ambush me. They're all gonna be dead. Okay, that is officially all the mooses. I just checked the data of the game. I just cross-checked the fucking code of the game. All the mooses are dead. What's inside this house? The other side key. I don't think I'd want to go in there anyways. That sounds evil. Or like a sort of dark shadow realm kind of deal. I don't want to go in there. So it looks like our only option is to cross the lake. I don't know what this call or cry or song is going to sound like. Frankly. But there's an awful lot of these fucking bugs. That one's a new one. Okay, these dragonflies are new. They're a little bit faster than... Oh my god, they are fast as fuck. Oh my god. And they survived more than one hit of this fucking thing? Okay, they're not all those dragonflies, though. There are some, there are some mosquitoes as well. Maybe I try to hit them from a distance before they know I'm actually here. I think this is going to be hard to do. I'm like slowly gliding towards something. 
Chat. Oh my god. That's the freaking monster. I saw them. I freaking see them over there. That's the knocking. I see them. That is freaky. I don't like that. Oh. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, I hate it. I don't like that at all. We're going around that thing. But I need to kill these guys for the fucking souls. We likely need hundreds of thousands of souls for our dark work. I want to save. Okay, we're going to run by the knocking. <laughs> so we're just going to leave the knock in here where they belong. Okay, I'm going to take out my repeating crossbow. I'm going to gun down anything else I see that isn't the knock and I'm not going to look at him. Dude, chill. It's actually pulling me really hard. Chat, I, I'm actually like struggling to run away. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. 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 Stop that. <sighs> Fuck you. Got out. It's still pulling me even now. We got out of there. We're okay. They can't hurt us anymore. The knocking can't hurt us here, chat. Okay, so this is an instant kill on these mosquitoes. That's good. We're gonna use this to kill these guys from now on. Oh, hey, what the fuck's your problem? I'm out of bolts. I dang it. Huh? We will push through this area. I can't tell if this is deep or not yet. It feels like I don't want to be in the water, though. Like, I probably want to just push through here. Oh, let me guess. You're going to need 30 to 40 to 50 souls to open this. Might as well check. I just saved anyways. This might be the first one that blocks me. Nope. Nice. Good shit. We're in. Sometimes they block you. Whoa! Gross fucking thing. Cool it. This mayor- I like the fucking troll hole more than this goddamn place. Get off of me! Dude, I like the troll hole way more than... Knockin' Lake. How can you say that? Easily. Easily this place is more unsettling. Bugs frickin' everywhere. It's a swamp. It reminds me of Blight Town. And I don't like the knockin'. I think the knockin' sucks. I think, I think, and there's a dead guy right there. There's a, that's a literal dead fucking body. Jack? It's a, that's a dead, bloated corpse right there of a guy. At least he's not naked. Yeah, that's for the witches. All the witches get naked. Come up. That's alive, right? Better safe than sorry. They were. The other side key. Fuck. That means I have to go to the, back to the other side. <laughs> and I can't save when I leave this cave because of all the fucking bugs. Quick. I got it. Alright, we're running back. Fuck, but if we kill these bugs, nah. The, the the smaller mosquitoes, I think, are worth killing. The uh, the big boys, these dragonflies, are absolutely not worth the ammo. They are fucking fast, though. Dude, actually, get off of me. I'm gonna die. These guys are gonna fucking kill me. They're ripping me to shreds. Ow. I, 
I just don't want to go back across Knockin Lake. Maybe there's another way to go that we didn't check. Maybe the Knockin won't notice we're here. The Knockin's way over there, chat. It's fine. We can't cross this. I need this. Fuck off! Stop. Don't know how many times I gotta tell you this, old man, but I'm not interested in whatever it is you're selling. I thought it'd be like a siren deal and it would at least be like a fucking beautiful, beautiful being. No, it's just this gross swamp monster. Really unfortunate for me. I, I am actually, he's pulling me harder than I can escape. Get off of my fucking face, my guy! I'm gonna kill you. He could be cute. You're not giving him a chance. I know they're not cute. I can see, I can see their soul from here. They got a hateful soul. Let's go. We're going to the other side. Really, everyone. <laughs> it's Shrek, and this is Shrek's swamp cabin. All right, we're on the other side. Welcome to our new home. This door doesn't open? Oh. What? What was the point of that? <laughs> what was the point of making me do that if I could also unlock this side? Question mark, question mark, question mark. People with hateful souls can be cute, just don't like get to know them kind of disagree with you on I mean like I don't know I guess just don't ever get just don't ever ask don't ever get to know them I guess there's probably plenty of there's probably plenty of dogs that are actually evil nah that's more cats <laughs> there's a couple cats that I reckon are pretty freaking evil aren't I supposed to get a pulley in this area where's my fucking pulley devs Ah, uh, devs. Ah, uh, devs. Because it looks like they want me to use the pulley right here. To cross to the other side. Did I miss it? And it was like on the ground. And I'm sure it's in Knock Pond. Somewhere in this area. That or it's on the other side of Knock Pond. And I have to follow the other perimeter to get there. I don't like that idea. But that guy definitely didn't have it on him. Right? The guy in the cave didn't have it. So I guess I'm going to follow the other perimeter of Knock Pond, which I haven't taken, which leads to where that rope is. What's one more adventure along this fucking lake? It's not like the knock monster is gonna keep doing it, is bullshit. I cannot believe that thing didn't die. There we go. Oh no, he's looking at me. He's already freaking looking again. Stop! Get off me! Give me this item. That's deep. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I just had to walk again. I'm just it's just stressful. Can he kill it? The the flute fucker said, "Don't even bother trying. LOL, LMAO, you'll die." I gotta get rid of these two. They're gonna chase me all the way to the fucking exit. And there's another. God dang, these guys are fucking ruthless. They never respawn, so once we kill something, they're gone forever. So it's not like we're wasting ammo. 
and points just not doing something that's necessary. I want to back up and save though since I did kill one. There we go. All right, let's get across Knock Pond again. Why did I get so close to Knock Guy? Why did I even bother? What was I thinking? I walked right up near him that time. Stop. Get away from me. Where's the deep part? Ah. Right there. That's where we're going. Get off of me! We made it to the other side of Knock Pond again. What secrets await us on this? Nothing really. So far, nothing. Are you really traveling north? My map says yeah. Oh cool, another fucking rope. There's no way they don't give us the pulley on the other side of this chat. Look, it's like such an obvious place to give me like a pulley to do this. Cause it's like a shortcut, like a micro shortcut. No. We know we're here, this is the right place. But first they're gonna make me fight what looks to be snakes. Oh my fucking God, shit, cool it. Hey, cool it. Give me this. Give me this. They're fucking everywhere. I'd like to reload my, uh... oh, I have no ammo in any of them. That's why none of this is working. I to reload my bow. You know what's not killing these fucking snakes? My arrows. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm not actually supposed to kill these guys? And this is sort of like more of a... Well, that pissed that one off. I'm just not gonna move. I'm gonna kill them one at a time from here. There we go. We kill them one at a time without aggroing any additional goblins. Dude, this actually is fucking, like, really pissing me off that you even bother trying with a behavior like that. This guy next. Okay, that one pissed off all of them. I went in the wrong order. We, in fact, went in the wrong order to do that, and now we're gonna pay the price. Perhaps the ultimate price. Fuck off! Stop! There's like 80,000 snakes in this area. You really think you can take me down? They ducked it. They didn't really duck it, I just missed. Cause they're so fucking small. We got him. We got him. All right. I don't know how to tell you guys this, but I feel like, I feel like we got him. We have one guy, two guys left. Fuck. They're dead, we got him. There's no way this one beats me. He dodged it. Is that the pulley? We have it. I didn't even need to fight this fucking snake. No, I bet I did. I, I I can guarantee you it wouldn't let me leave until I've gotten all the snakes. But we did it. We're fine. Save. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, chat. Now, all we have to do now is rotate all the way back around all of Knock Pond, uh, back to where we were again, so we can take the rope over again. So continue. Surprised you can't skin them for materials. This is not that kind of game. Knock, I swear to fucking God. This deep! I got like shot when I did that, dude. Someone like shot me. I, I heard like a bang, like pfft. Like Knock just pulled out a gun when I went to the deep, deep end, like shot me with a harpoon. I got knocked, dude. Let's ride. I need more ammo. Oh my god. Can you, like, fuck off? They're all over the place. I can't even, like, push over this hill. I'm running. This is so dumb. I'm not gonna make it. I need that health potion, but the knock has strategically placed that health potion right there because he knew I'd want it. He knows that if I take it, I will certainly be dead. Get out of my way! I need that! I need that potion! 
Knock. Knock it off. All right. <laughs> Come on. Let's be cool. Fucking really? This game got suddenly hard. Uh, mainly because I have no ammo. All I have is the slingshot, which means I need to pick these guys off quietly and slowly. I have no choice in the matter. Humiliated by no by a knock, no less. Humiliated. It's so hard to fucking hit these guys. These guys are insanely fast. Like, what? Are, I'm never gonna hit these guys. Unless they fly right into me just like that and basically kill themselves on me. Okay, these guys are kind of making it a little, e a little easy. These ones are all right. The little mosquitoes are not that bad. I need to save. I'm not interacting with anyone, game. I promise you that. I wouldn't interact with anyone in this fucking lake in a million years. You don't have to worry about that. Just save my dang game. I'm going for it. Max permanent health. That, that knock doesn't actually doesn't stand a chance now. Oh no. And so it begins. The knock actually has not interrupted me this time. Which is good. I think I've made it to like the safer spot. Yep, I'm good. Yeah, we made it. They'll not chase me any further. Now we go back to the other side again and we take this rope over the lake past the knock. He won't be able to do anything because we're in the air that he legally can't get involved. It's not his place. It's not his zone. So he'll just have to watch and get like mad at me. There's nothing the knock can do now. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey. Message Raven. A sorcerer forged strange devices. They could tear holes into other worlds. They are called dimensional violators. Here our pants and sockless friend comes into the story. He found the castle where they were hidden and took them. He did lose them soon after, as is to be expected. Return all three to me. The witches in Sourwood possess the first. Yeah, well, the witches in Sourwood don't own any clothes, which is sort of freaking me out. Well. Don't look down there where the knock is. Just don't look. I'm looking. I'm going to look. Oh, God, it's actually graying me out. Where is he? I don't see him. There he was. All right. We made it. Grab some ammo. Load up. We got a long way to go to Sourwood, chat. Wait, was I also supposed to take that way down to get even further closer? I mean, closer to where I wanted to be? I think I'm supposed to take another rope. This is also a rope. Do I take this? No, I think this one's a flavor rope. Yeah, we're good. So that's the, that's the lake. This is the way to not the lake. And that's the other side. All right, I'm getting my, I'm getting my bearings. I want to check what's down here real quick. I'm getting my bearings again. Yeah, it spits us out on the right side, which we couldn't get to before because it was all deep. So we're on the right side now. We don't have to worry about the knock anymore unless he's also in this lake. But this isn't really a lake. This is more of a swamp or a bog. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the knock anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. There's a weapon in this place, isn't there? That I'm supposed to get. Isn't like the frog? Didn't the guy say like a frog was protecting it? Drop that. Drop that right now. Give that to me. You don't deserve. Oh, here it is. I thought that was the item. Hello?
Hello? For some reason, my entire mixer just shut down like all audio. I don't know why. Let's have to restart it. Oh, that snake's been there the whole time. I don't know why it did that, but I solved it. I'm a genius. Dude, looks like the audio got devious licked. Yeah, the only thing we gotta worry about right now, Chad, is whatever's inside that freaking frog hole. All right? We don't have much weaponry. We don't have much ammo. Best be careful going down here. You do not have both eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Insert two wooden eyes into the witch statue in Knock Pond. It will open the path to Sourwood. So this is the way to Sourwood. But I do not have the eyes. Hey, a flask filled with the strength of nine men is in your reach. Ropes and green sl green silt green slit will lead you. But find the bear crossbow and the goat lever if you have not done so first. I know which rope I have to take to get to the thing. It's definitely the one on the tower with the haunted thing. There's no way it isn't that one. Because I had like a goal for that, remember? But first I should find the, the goat thing. My friend is right. He's not my friend. He's actually the reason I'm trapped here. But he's right. He is correct. Dude, I'm so fucking fucked right now. I have so little health, I have very few prospects in life. No hopes, no dreams. Disgusting, sweaty. Fucking stupid ass dragonfly has hit me for the rest of my health, therefore destroying me. And my hopes and dreams even more. Oh, really? 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 Pick a direction, asshole! Jesus! Unbelievable. Oh my god. That was a- uh, that didn't look like I hit him, but I'm glad I did. We want to get across that freaking bridge. Hey, I mean, we need the souls. Gigantic hit. Gigantic hit from 500 miles away. Come on. Straight line me. Come on. They... I don't know if they're supposed to be able to swim. Come on. One of you, please. I don't want to attack them before they attack me. I guess I'm going that way. Since they're not coming- Dude, I love randomly deep water, dude! It's the only thing that keeps me on my toes! No, I can't swim! The game's right! The game would have no attention if not for me being able to not swim! Or whatever. Land. How? 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 Is he coming back? Why? I'm leaving. I'm not wasting any more ammo on those guys. I'd rather fight this bear. Who will no doubt attack me and try to eat me. Yeah, I'd rather fight the bear. I'd rather fight the bear every time. Millie, every single time I'd rather fight the bear. I'll take my chances with the bear, thank you. Oh, uh, he's doing spin moves? I cannot fight him. Dude, Bear Chan, chill the frick out. You're freaking me out, dude. Two HP. Why? Little mosquito, huh? Little mosquito is what did me in, not the big bear. The little, little, little wee mosquito lad. This is why we kill every enemy in every map. Or else they get little slaps in on you and really fuck you over when you're fighting something that you need to kill. 
Like the bear. These fucking mosquitoes are everywhere. Well, that got him over coming over here. And their friend, too. Okay, one more mosquito. The bear has acknowledged my existence. That's actually not what we wanted to have happen this early in the fight, because I have yet to do any damage on him at range. He's dodging left and right upon... Okay, this is a safe spot. This is like the Dark Souls invisible wall where you can't come any further. How far off was that? Perfect. He is at maximum range. That hit him. God, I suck at leading my shots. I'm much better when they're running right at me like a psycho. I don't really want to waste any more ammo, though. Rock doesn't feel that bad to use. Unless you fucking perfectly whiff it every time. I can only hit people with the rock if they're running away from me. Run away. Okay, bear's dead. Not like it matters. I didn't actually have to kill him. I slayed him because I could, not because I needed to. But I did want to check out whatever this was. What is this? Is this a submarine? Looks like a trebuchet catapult. Something tells me I should keep it loaded. Am I going to go into knock? No. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. That guy sucks. There's another bear. We didn't feel like the game was hard enough with only one bear. So we've added a second, just like a second moose. Keep people on the toes, dude. I heard a snake. What is that? That's the first part of the crossbow. You are such a fucking rascal, you know that? That's why I saved. I knew he was gonna fucking do that shit. Pulled me off. See, look, chat. He's actively pulls me. See? So it's sort of weird when you're trying to like change like change your angle. So we got the bear crossbow part. We need to find a goat now who will also have the second part. Now I'm gonna hazard a guess and assume it's somewhere this way. Really? Where did he just fly to? Snake doesn't have that much HP. Snake's actually really easy to kill. So where would, if I had a lever and I was a goat, okay? And I was hiding a lever from the bears. I would hide right under where the bears live. I would not, I would want to hide near the bears sort of hiding, like hangout spot. How far up are you willing to chase me? He's got me pinned. He's got me. He's got me dead to rights, chat. This bear's got me dead to rights. This bear's got me. He, ha he has me completely fucking destroyed out here. He's ripping me to shreds. He's eating me. He's eating me. I'm, I'm pinned against the fucking submarine. He's doing spins. Help. He gave up. But I feel like he won. I need to go to the doctor and heal. I need to like backtrack to a medical professional. Bear Chan. Bear Chan, you're supposed to give up. Do I have anything that could kill him quickly? The axe. I'm gonna slay this thing. He runs in a straight line, he's easy peasy. One more. Bear's dead. Both bears are dead, bears are now extinct. 
I'm gonna do a real save. We might need to go back to the fucking town soon, get some healing from the doctor. But I wanted to get the stuff to go into the basement of that fucking church first. You know? Whatever, let's find the goat thing. Which is certainly over here. No doubt. The axe is so strong. Yeah, but it's super finite. And you don't find them very often. They're like rockets. This doesn't get me where I need to go either. Oh, what was that? What is it? Ah! They blended the fucking grass. Fucking see you though. I got ah! dude, fuck you. Fuck off, bro. It's not even funny. This place is cursed. I hear something. I hear another one. I have 7 HP. I'm never going to make it out of here alive. I don't have the power nor the confidence in my own equipment. And these guys are all like fucking really fast. That was actually just a really lucky hit. That one. But I'm still interacting with something which gives me no amount of fucking dread. Look. Fuck you! The spider. There's a spider. I walked over a spider. I God knows where. Don't. You can sidestep these guys. But where's the fucking spider? Owned. Colossal owned. I see him. Dude, he blends in fucking... Oh my God. You could barely see them. Ah! There's one literally right on top of it. There's like eight of them. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. Oh my God. Oh my freaking god, why are, they, why are they everywhere? Really? I really wish I had HP. Can I- Dude, I, I can promise you, I am not interacting with them. Like, you gotta know one thing at this point, game. I'm not interacting with them at all. Get interacted on. You too. I, I don't believe though that they should have souls. See chat, what I'm doing is I'm actually mashing quick save because if it says I'm being interacted with, that means one of the spiders is actually right beneath me and about to cut me in half with its fucking feet. So like I'm, I'm using it as sort of a Geiger counter. For instance, right now I'm being interacted with a spider, which is how I know. And once he stands still, I will technically not be interacting with him anymore. See? I'm using F5 to detect for spiders. Oh! Who are you fooling? Ah! Ah! Dude, stop. Bro. There's like they just crawl out of fucking nowhere. You're being interacted on! <laughs> I'm so tired of being interacted with. I'm so fucking tired of interacting. Why? Dude. 
I see you. You're not a plant. Matter of fact, you're nothing. Don't even bother. Fuck off. Don't, dude, not the fucking... Safe. All right, no one's interacting with me now. But that guy is absolutely 100% gonna. And there's totally, there's a guy right on top of me. Where is he? There he is. Anyone else? No. Pull it! Something opened where? Chat, where did something open? Dude. <laughs> You're gonna need to be more specific than that! Maybe the bridge? That's the only thing I can think of. Is the bridge. But I don't see that open. Fuck Knock Pond, all my homies hate Knock Pond. I am with you on that one, my man. I don't think many people like Knock Pond. I'm going to be honest. There's no way that's open. This game is true horror. It really fucking is. Fuck, what, what opened? Check my journal. Bear crossbow, insert two wooden eyes, not strong enough. Get the item at the end of the ballista rope line. We can go get that, technically. Maybe this is a situation where we leave Knock Pond. Not that I'm scared of Knock Pond. Because I'm not. You know, but maybe we run. That could, looks kind of like a path right there, though, doesn't it? That goes up to the frog statue, though. I have to do at least a sweep of the area. I have to be sure that I didn't miss something. Leave! I think I have to go to Green Slit again. But I opened something! I opened something here! I opened something here, and I know it's not in that freaking basement, but where is it? What have, what have I seen that would open with a lever? Don't knock it till you try it. Dude. Time and place, my man. Time and place, and now is not the fucking time. Alright? Or the place. Because you know who's not having a good time? Or place? Me. I'm tempted to take my chances with Knock in order to grab that potion. Matter of fact, I'm going to. Fuck you! No! <laughs> he shot me! I gotta get there before he gets closer to me. Easy. I'm done interacting with you. We're gonna do one last sweep of this perimeter. If we don't see anything, then we don't know where this lever goes, and we're leaving Knock Pond. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Oh, wait. Wait! I see it. Oh my god, you crafty, crafty, crafty little developer. Nice fucking try. Bear crossbow bolts. Chat. This crossbow is one of the strongest weapons in the whole game. It does 180 damage. Oh my god. Now this is a crossbow. 
We're going to green slit. We're going back to green slit, chat. All right. We're going back to green slit. We are going up the haunted tower. When we get to the top, we are going to take the rope down to the place that we located with the ballista. There is no freaking way that's not the next destination. The dev nailed this FOV. Does it change here? I really like the dude, honestly. This dev nailed this game. This is a really good game. Like the world is interesting, the maps are awesome, the combat's fun for as crusty as it is, the music's great. For a one dev team project for like $12? Pretty good. We ride. Don't look at the knock. Look at all the fucking dragonflies chasing us. It's just like, honestly, I think my favorite part about it is like the maps mixed with how, like, how well it does discovering new items and discovering new things. Like, yeah, it tells you what to do, but like you're usually following like a very basic amount of information from like a journal entry, which really works in its favor because it always feels like you're discovering the thing yourself. And it's like, oh, I found this really cool room that has the thing I needed. And like I had to go through all these steps to get it and I, I only sort of thought that it would take me there. And it all feels very natural, like the guide, like the way the game guides you the next area. Am I going the right way? Yes. Oh my god, sweet ammo. Alright. Wait. What the heck is this place? Oh, I knocked this down. I remember. That would have been a faster way over. Alright. Back to green slit. We're going up to the top of the haunted tower and then taking you what? I said I knocked it down. All right. That tower right there has a what word. There's no bridge. There never was. I used a tunnel to get here. God fucking damn it. That is embarrassing. Oh my God. Dude, this stream is fucking cringe. It's okay, Jet. I have a special power. I have a power no one else has. And it's the power of I'm too lazy to go over to Cheat Engine to speed this up. So we're actually walking all the way back. We really are. We, we really, really are. It's called High Concentration Laziness. And I'm one of the best. I kind of want Indian tonight. I think I might. What time is it? 7.34? I'm, while we're sliding over, I'm going to make you guys look at the knock. And I'm going to go grab my phone. I'm going to order Indian. All right? It is what is going to happen. Right back. Look at him. I'm back. I grabbed my phone. Was he there? Did he say hey to you? Did they say anything to you? No. He flipped us off. What the fuck? That's why I told you guys to avoid him and to stay away from him. He told me to sub to Knock Pond Gaming. Wow, there's even like water coming down when we're right below the river. That is a nice touch. 
No, it's not like mo the most visually stellar game in the more finer details, but you can tell the dev like cared about de like the design of it. We're going up. We're taking that rope right there. I think that's the one we want. It's the only one that's unique. And it, thank God there's so much HP in this area. Okay. Uh, we are going up the haunted tower. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Okay. Now we go across this right here. It's one way. Yes. The trilobite key. Have we at any point? No, I've seen a trilobite. I've seen a trilobite on a sign. But I never saw any, like, doorway for a trilobite. I have to backtrack to the sign. Wait, is that an item right there? No, that's a, that's a bow. It was near here. Wasn't it? Hang on, we gotta basically backtrack until we see the trilobite sign and then follow ropes from there until we see what we're looking for. It was around here. Like, around that cliffside. Because this is bear sign. If we go upstairs, we'll see Pond Boy. That now has much more sinister meanings than it used to for me. Here we go. Oh, here we go, yeah. On the other side, there is an old fortress guarding the Trilobite tomb. Bandits, now long dead, once occupied the fortress. Then someone performed necromancy on them. They may need to die again. Found the bear crossbow and knock pond yet? It'll be of use to you, particularly against these faraway enemies. Traveling flute player. Thanks. That will be useful. We... I love this. Here we are, Trilobite. Trilobite path. I actually want that potion. I'm not, I'm dumb. I'm going back to get that. I didn't used to think health was a big deal in this game, and then things started to hurt me more recently, and I started to fucking like connect the dots on how miserable it is to not have health in this video game, and now I feel way more compelled to explore than I used to. I recognize this spot. I like having arrows. Alright, let's roll. To the fortress of death. I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at! <laughs> okay, okay, people. I don't want to use my fucking bear crossbow for these guys, because I don't need it. I already almost hit that guy in one. That's a hit. Yep, there's a hit right there. Yeah, I don't need a- I don't need- I don't need to use the good arrows to kill these guys. They're not that bad. Unless they crouch like they just did right there. There's one. Yeah, we'll just use the bow for this guy. Yeah, there's another. But they give me... I guess I should try once. We should try once. Let's give this a one try. Let's see here. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of drop. The only way it'd be really good is if it doesn't have any drop, really. It doesn't have much. We're going in. Wait, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Help. Oh my god, I'm stuck on a tree. Hey, dude, my fucking crossbow doesn't really work against these! Shredding sword, this, this, I think this cleaves enemies. I am getting, I got absolutely fucking devoured. I would have needed that sword equipped for that part, but I wasn't ready. How could I have known? I didn't stand a chance. 
Grab the sword. Alright, well, we're gonna use the bear arrows now then, because, uh, it's gonna be useless in a real fight. That's one down. Two down. Equip the sword. The second they come, I think this, I think it cleaves. It definitely cleaves. I think. Really, I can't be sure. There's so many of them and I'm just trying not to look. No, it definitely doesn't. But it's hitting them. They all have so much health. Uh, where's my repeating crossbow? This will work really well right now. If it was loaded. Eh, I didn't load it. Yeah, this thing's not loaded. Ah! That's the water. Wasn't there a fence blocking the water? Wasn't there a fence? Up until recently, I could have sworn there was a fence of some kind that was blocking... That... Uh, I guess maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm imagining things. Maybe they put it down the second they realized I wasn't looking. Or maybe it was in a different spot. I'm crazy. Where's my... Where the fuck is my rotating crossbow? There we go. We want this loaded too. Okay. Sword from below. Now what I'm gonna do is back up. I'm gonna go all the way back to before they even aggroed me. Way, way back here. Because I, I don't want to have to go grab all the stuff again if I die again. Now. Bear. That was a miss. Oh my god. Still getting used to the drop on this. Okay, this time for sure we will not die again Sword from below out The fence does not block everything now we know I gotta aim like low because I gotta make sure I hit people that are in melee and I need like, cause I don't really care about hitting these archers. They're not the real problem. Problem is the melee boys that are keeping up with me at, like on a straightaway run. That are just like chopping me into fucking pieces. I just need to kill them. Of course this needs to be loaded. I didn't even want that out. I want this one. You get off of me. There's like biting my ankles. This does so little damage, it's like dirt. It's like throwing rocks. There's only two real weapons in the game and it's every melee weapon and the bow of the east, baby. All right, now this is a weapon for men. It kills, you shoot it, someone with it, it kills them. All right, shoot someone with it, it hurts them like hell. This is a weapon you use to slay people. Followed by rocks. Honestly, rocks would be pretty effective in this. Actually, I don't know why I'm not using the rocks. Because the rocks are actually probably the most effective weapon for this fight. Because they're all chasing after me in a line, and the rocks actually do more damage than the bow does. I can't believe all these guys are... I can't believe they threw this many guys at the ass. Another one down. They're running out of men. Chat, it's okay. They're running out of men. I'm not gonna run out of fucking rocks, I'll tell you that. Is that another sword? Yeah, these guys are fucking dead. Where's my sword? Yeah, equip another sword from below. I'm just gonna cut him in half. Another one get dead. 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 That guy flattened like a pancake. Dead. Flattened.
All right. Uh, back to this. Back to the sling. I don't want to waste any more ammo. Just in case. There might be more to this. There probably is. Flattened. Like a pancake. Dead. Only you, me, and the archers now, son. All right, he ducked that. If they do second wave, I am in trouble. Go down. Who's that? Wait, I think that some guy got stuck coming out. Who needs this? I packed range detects. Someone hit me with like a fucking super catapult. I need to go heal before I kill this guy. Thank God they gave me a billion health for this. Yeah, pathetic. This guy doesn't stand a fucking chance. We storm the keep! Come! Fat! They're out of melee battles! Battle the warriors, that's the word for them. They're out of melee warriors, it's just archers now! We hold an advantage over them! Push in! We're in. We took the keep. They have nothing. They're all dead. Now we go to the top and we claim their treasure. I'm not even sure what it is, but the guy, the bird told me to do it. The bird said to do it, so I did it. Uh. This is like we run into like one of the lore, like one of the fucking like final bosses from Dark Souls 1. We'll find like Gravelord Nito in here or something. He's gonna fucking rip us in half. Like, I don't wanna go in this. Let's see what the other path is. One way. Shortcut to Haunted Tower. At least they're not like, bra they're, they don't beat around the bush on it. Everyone knows. Trilobite Tomb. Hey, at least it's not Troll Hole. This looks so bad. Oh, I thought this was a loading screen. No, this is actually the map. Hello? Hello? Oh, cool. Emergency health kits. I love tombs. Hi. Yeah, you guys might not recognize me. I'm actually the man who killed the troll in the troll hole. So maybe have some fucking respect. Yeah? Oh my god. Why is- why me? Why today? Dead. Do you guys give me souls if I kill you? Oh, you got souls in you, huh? Well, you don't seem to be very tanky. Yeah, one smack of the rock is enough to kill him on one loop. Well, that's all I need. Really? How the fuck did I miss that? Nice try. Oh my god. It's just like a thousand fucking horrible spiders. All in one big room. There's no way to get through them faster. You just gotta kill every single spider in the horrible room. It's like not hard. It's just kill every goddamn spider in the trailer bike cave. <laughs> Please die. Please die. What is that? Okay. All the tri all the spiders are dead. The trailer bike cave has been saved. You don't, guys, you never, if you're making a tomb or a crypt or some kind of spooky environment, but you don't really, I don't know if they're trying to go for spooky, because you fucking do not put a skull on leverhead. That's like rule one. What is that? What is this? Oh, they're flushing me. I, I flushed myself. I just flushed myself down a big toilet. Ah! 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 Wow, this goes deep. Oh my god! Help? 
Still going! <laughs> that looked like my exit right there. Where am I? I am extremely dead. Don't wake up. All right, we cool? You none of you are attacking me. So it seems like we might be cool. I collected the strength from nine men long dead. I absorbed their souls and now I can probably push big rocks. Okay, Trilobite Tomb has been dealt with. I'm strong as fuck now. Where, what, what is Fall Crush? <laughs> Can I just get a fucking freebie? Can you drop me back at like the town? I don't want to be in Fall Crush. I want to be in my... Actually, Fall Crush seems lovely. Yo! Aside from the fact that I don't have a destination, I don't know where to go from here. I guess I'll follow the cliff. Well, now that we're strong enough to... Destroy any threat with our bare hands is really nothing to worry about, chat. We're gonna go into the basement of that uh, uh, fucking church and we're gonna kill anyone down there. Then we're gonna kill the priest and we'll probably kill anyone else in the entire town that fucks with us. We'll get the bell tower key so we can go and kill that demon as well. Snap them in half with our bare hands. It's gonna be a lot of snapping and screaming in the next couple minutes. This is a very pretty game for as weird as the visuals are. Fucking hell. They did vistas and stuff really well. Let's get the hell out of here. Bruh. Good old fucking fall crush. Don't know why they named it that. Could have been Big Falls, Water, Fall, Land. Just not fucking Fall Crush, really. Would have been good. I don't even know if Fall Crush is going to link back. You know where I bet fucking... Guys? Why do I get this weird feeling Fall Crush is going to dump us out in Troll Hall? Well, I feel like that's where it puts me. It doesn't put me back in the right place. It puts me back in Troll Hall. You know what I mean? I'm getting real Troll Hall vibes from this fucking place. Fall Crush is definitely a, hey, look at this pretty uh, scenery I made level because there doesn't seem to be anything to pick up or collect. It's not even like items. It's probably a transitionary... Wow, it's having us climb the whole thing. Look at that. I see other lines up there. We're climbing up. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe you go back to Fall Crush multiple times and I don't actually have to take all those. Or it'll dump me in fucking Troll Hole. Oh. We slowly make our way back to town. Yeah, I can say now, after playing it for four and a half hours or so, this game is absolutely 100% worth the $12 the dev is asking for. Uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty good indie game, especially for like the 12 or something reviews it has. Like this is like a completely under the radar indie game. It's cool to find one that's like this quality. Twelve dollars isn't bad. Yeah, especially considering looking at the map, I'm only about halfway done. Right? Looking at the map. Possibly more, like less than halfway done. 
if the other zones are more complicated, which they seem to be getting. Is this full release? It is a full release, yeah. It's done. The dev actually updates it fairly regularly, though, with, like, patches and stuff. Like, actually, funnily enough, uh, I think a patch came out today that, <coughs> that, uh, added an elaboration that you should try to shoot around the shields of those shield guys, because apparently people were, like, stuck and they didn't know you should shoot around the shields when you fight those five guys all at the same time. So that's why it said, like, hey, shoot around the shield. I'm not sure if that was a necessary thing to patch in, but... They've done a lot of patching to, like, balance the zones in post. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're going to the basement of the church. We're gonna murder anyone we see down there. Understand? No questions asked. How much more do I have to climb? Oh my god, I'm still seeing more ropes. How much farther is it, chat? What do we play? I can't breathe anymore. We're getting so freaking high up. <laughs> we have to do another. I count at least two more. <laughs> don't look down. I'm not scared of anything that's down unless Knock is down there. If Knock's down there, uh uh. I don't like that. But without knockdown there, I don't fucking care, dude. Let's turn on auto run. Why are you so mean to my boy? He's a piece of shit. And I bet we get to kill him. I bet eventually we go into the, his lake and we fucking murder him in his own lake. I bet we kill him. Finally at the top of the fucking waterfall. God, we actually are super high up. Jesus. Ah! Cool. That was close. Ah! Uh, turn off auto run. Where am I actually supposed to go, though? Ah, yes, I see. We finally made it to the top. That's a boss fight, isn't it? No, oh, that's a boss arena. No, dude. The dev, you can't just let me get home. What genre is this? A lot of genres. <laughs> Adventure, action, FPS, a little bit of horror. Mystery. The village idiot lost a dimensional violator in Deadwell. The priest probably found it and accidentally opened a gate towards the realm occupying his mind. A dark entity came through and transformed into a priest doppelganger. The husk of the priest is probably trapped below the heavy rock in Deadwell. He guards the key to a wooden eye. The traveling flute player. Well, we need two wooden eyes to get to the Sourwood, so we're killing the priest. And that's Fall Crush, which somehow, somehow, against all odds, loops back to Trilobite Tomb and not to Dead Crush. Or sorry, Dead Well. Oh no, it goes back to Green Slit. Okay, that works. This is a surprisingly long game. Hey, I'm not about to complain. These maps have been like fucking grade A. Uh, I'm ready. Take me down. The button is not activating for me to go. There we go. Like, these maps are gigantic. Like, when you really look at it now, with like the, like, now that we've officially done everything in this map... All right, let's ride. Why 
I'm not really sure the fastest way to get to it from here, so I'm just gonna do what I know, which is go back all the way to the entrance. Oh, oh, I know where this dumped me. Yeah, put me right here. All right, no problem. To Deadwell. Let's go save that fucking priest or and or kill his doppelganger, which is actually a monster. Has this place gotten foggier lately? Like a little more evil? Sinister? Oh, we should ask the guy. Hey, my guy, what does my future hold? What future, what future awaits me? I saw you deep down in a pond. No light could penetrate. Will you be lost forever with the metal ball as your corroding casket? Oh no. <laughs> we really do go in the pond. Well, we gotta talk to the priest in town. And by talk to the priest in town, I mean... Meh. Priest! Are you in here? I, I can't quite seem to get in the hole, actually. Stop. I swear, I will frickin'... He sealed me in, I gotta kill him. All right, old man. You're not gonna like how I do it, but I'll try to make it clean. Stop wiggling. Wow, he has a lot of health. For a husk, this guy's quite tanky. What the fuck? Stop. Hey, stop it. They even closed the fucking, they closed the goddamn door to go into the church. I had to kill this guy before I can even do anything. Whatever, I'm just gonna use the balls. Actually, I guess a bow would work. If I wasn't getting, like, stuck. You'd think that with my strength of 10,000 men, I would be able to casually just rip this guy's head off. It doesn't matter who he is anymore, you know? But, uh, apparently, I'm not that strong yet. Dude, just fucking chill out. Cool it, all right? God, am I gonna end up killing most of the people in this town? What the hell? I, it's the strength of nine men. I, I know, Chad. I, you guys gotta know I know. Of course I remember. Of course I remember it's the strength of like 20 men. Not, not 10,000, all right? I know. Don't! I'm so close to winning. I can't keep fucking up. Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Ah! Better luck next time, you old bag. The bell tower key. My beastly friend told me a story. Near Knock Pond one night, suddenly the priest stood by the water. He had a note sheet which he slid into a bottle. He then attached it to a heavy rock and threw it into the dark waters. The priest fears the note sheet. Retrieve it. You should find someone with technical skills who could fix that old diving sphere by the catapult and shoot the bell. The guy still doesn't pay his freaking taxes. Hey, I need a doctor's advice. I need medical attention. I'm experiencing low power syndrome. I need more medical attention. Low self-esteem. Yep, sounds right. Let me see. We're gonna go inside that fucking bell tower. Not like I think I'm gonna be able to do much in it, but I'm gonna confront the guy. Hi. What are you saying? I, me, was trapped under the church, mad, trying to kill you? No, no, you must obviously have been having a mad hallucination. You should stop your silly adventuring and instead meditate about sin and the afterlife as it is all that matters in the end.
Okay, bruh. Sock lost by the village idiot. It's empty. Oh, I don't have the dark gate key. Sorry, chat. Frick. We're not going to be able to get in there. We don't have the key to the dark gate. What is that? Oh, you guys see that? Oh my child, why are you vandalizing my church? The fires below are surely being stoked right now, you pagan. Yeah, whatever, old man. That's one of the eyes. He called me a pagan. What the fuck? Like, that's fucked up. You can't just call me that. So what's next on my grim list? Retrieve the note sheet the priest fears from Knock Pond. Reveal the doppelganger, which I can't do. I can't personally reveal him without, I think, doing the basement thing. But what I can do is go to the inventor. And maybe he's willing to help me with the submarine. Maybe he'll realize I'm not a crummy vagrant and I'm actually like a friendly guy. And maybe we can get along after all. You know what I mean? Maybe we can get along. Because I'm sure it's lonely for him out here. Probably gets lonely. Hey! Why should I walk all the way to Knock Pond? You want to dive into the dark abyss and probably disappear while well, you are tempting me with sweet words. I shall bring tools for repairing the diving bell. Jump out and let us have an uneasy and awkward walk there. Okay. He ripped me all the way back to Knock Pond. We walked together. We walked holding hands. So is this going to get me into the depths of Knock Pond? I repaired the diving bell as cheaply as was possible. Who knows why someone would bring it here? Maybe the Knock got them. Ha! <laughs> I have heard Knock Pond was a forest once. For some reason or another, the ground sank into a deep hole and then water filled the whole thing. Well, anyway, you wanted this. Dumb as you are, stick your head into the death ball. I shall gladly watch you launch you into the deep. Okay. I saved my game. How do I stick my head in the ball? Good luck, idiot. That wasn't even the guy saying that. That was the game's pop-up. This is gonna suck. I have turned on the air and the light. Do you see me through the glass? Yes, I see your ugly face now. Well, goodbye. What? Maybe we think about... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh my god. Here we are. In Knock Pond. I don't see anything. I think we're still descending. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Wait, why is my click just like a fucking flash? Am I supposed to just scare someone away with a flashlight? Oh no. Get lost, knock. for now. It's all I can do. Just keep fucking moving. Hey! Get 
Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, right! What the whoa, 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 wee whoa! Oh, this place sucks. So, so bad. You guys want to go to Knock Pond, dude? You fucking happy, you piece of shit? You guys all were like, let's go to fucking Knock Pond! Get flashed. Get flashed. Nunez says, I can jump crazy high and avoid some enemies, but it doesn't help me with the knock. I believe I killed it. No, it tried to bite me, but then it flew away. I need to save, but I'm interacting with these guys. This is currently all active interactions, chat. I can't save so long as I'm still interacting. So... Right now, I'm kind of in the wild with no chance of uh, saving. I'm mashing the button. I'm trying my hardest. Oh my god. I see the knock. Is that a pipe? Where the fucking f uh, Where am I? Where am I? What is this place? Dude, it's the Keystone XL pipeline. <laughs> Chat, you might be right. There's something off about this place. Something doesn't seem right. Is that water in your suit? Yeah, it's like an effect of like a little bit of water because the inventor probably did a shitty fucking job. What year is this? It's the distant future of- Oh my god, he's right there! Everyone just shut the hell up and let me focus, alright? This sucks. I hate this. What is this game? Dude, I thought this was just gonna be a northern journey! I was really excited to go on my journey to the fucking north and now the monster's fucking eating me and I have no hope, no prospects, no real dreams, no aspirations, no chance. Give me this. Get out of there! Hey! Fuck off! We just gotta keep moving as fast as we can. Only chance we have is to run faster than the knock. I'm lost, I lost my butt. I lost myself. I, he's on top of me, he's right on top of me. He's eating me. I need this. Looks like we're going deeper, chat. How fucking deep does this game? I'm never coming back up. I'm never coming back up. <gasps> it's cracking. The atmosphere is freaking breaking. <laughs> and the knock is still chasing me. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's getting hard to see. It's getting hard to find things to keep believing in. Those are human skeletons in the nets. Get away from me. This is like that part in Lord of the Rings 2 where, uh, those fucking, like, they were in that swamp for, like, a second, and it got really spooky, and the movie became a horror movie for, like, a second. You guys remember that? Except I'm stuck here, and it doesn't end. That, it's, like, the part in the movie that everyone skips, because, like, I don't like that part with the dead marsh. It's kind of creepy. And it's not really, it doesn't look like Lord of the Rings. Get out of my face! Dude! All of you! All right? 
I don't know where I am, but I saw the knock. Go away. Is there a hole here? I am completely... How do I leave? How do I leave? I'm floating up. I'm blowing air into my balloon. I'm out of here. See you later, Nuck. Woo! Yeah, that's right, idiot. We're almost out of here. He's not gonna let you get away. Nice chat, that one sucked bad. You guys think the adventure is still gonna be there? You guys think I'm bleeding out of my ears right now from the bends? I scamper away fast. <laughs> I'm crying. I pissed myself a little. <sighs> I run away fast from the knock sequence. So what did I even get out of that? The note sheet. Find someone who can play the music in the note sheet. I have to go back to the musicians in that other place. They know how to play notes. They are musicians, you see. So, all I have to do is some minor backtrack to talk to them. Oh my god. That sequence was exhausting. I need to walk back to a new place, chat. That part was fucking exhausting. So yeah, this game has some horror sequences in it, chat. It's got a couple. It's got one or two kind of spooky parts. It's got a couple. It's got some spooks here or there. Every zone is so fucking well made. It really is. I've been, I haven't had a single spot where I've been like, what the fuck is this? What were they thinking when they made this? You know? I don't want to sound like I'm just gushing over the game, but like I haven't run into many things where I'm like, this is stupid. Why is this in the game? You guys can usually tell when something in a game pisses me the fuck off and I lose interest in it. It's pretty obvious. You know? I don't really- I'm not good at hiding it. This is gonna fucking kill me. I lived. I, why aren't I taking the ropes? For this? I guess I don't actually know which way the ropes take me. We need to technically go back to the place before this, but I don't think it's that easy. So I think we're doing a bit of a, what am I, am I a psycho? What am I doing? Get me on level ground. Save my game. Save, this is level ground. All right, got it. Uh, I don't think I can just... Wait, yes I can. If I go onto that side, I can do it. Yeah, we need to backtrack back to the, uh, other place. Wait, I am a psycho. I'm being stupid. I don't need to go this way. I can see the spot I jump over to. Right here. It's gonna dump- this would dump me out exactly where I need to be to get the musicians to play my song. Yeah. Bada bing. Bada bing this, man. Wait a minute, where the hell am I? This isn't the spot I needed. Wait, this is the spot I needed. Alright. Back to Ravenfen. We haven't been to Ravenfen in quite some time. Most people actually avoid Ravenfen, because it's awful. Hey! What a strange note sheet. That melody looks all wrong. Seems really odd. 
old. There was supposedly a secret melody store in the church at Deadwell. It was rumored to tear away disguises. You want us to play it? Why not? We could collect some money for a little performance. Meet us tonight, then. Okay. Oh, they're teleporting me there. Nice. Here we are. I hate him. This kid is the worst fucking thing they ever done did. Everyone's having a good time. Except someone's not here. Oh. Uh. Um. Is he walking towards me? You have to walk through a fire. You'll have to walk right through a fire, asshole. What if I let him touch me? I am only watching over my flock. Okay. And now, a special request! Play it. <laughs> Everyone's going crazy, everyone's having a really good time! But this guy's so mad at me! <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 this invisible wall. The drowned note she escaped the music, it must not take me. Cool stuff, guys. I can't follow them. So I think I just hang out for the music. Hey, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. He's doing like a worm. He's doing flips. He's slamming his head in the ground. Yeah, he's doing a lot of that. You guys think... Everyone sees this though, right? You guys all see this? Oh, another wooden eye. He gave me the eye. Thanks. Thanks. So I can't leave. And he leaves, just like that. And that dumps us back in Knock Pond. The priest has been revealed. The doppelganger tried to flee into the dimensional violator open in the church, but, there, but it was not there anymore. The village idiot has stolen it back so he can find his pet worm. He will not tell where he is hidden the dimensional violator. The doppelganger fled this way to the mountains. He senses another dimensional violator he can use there. Follow him. If you have not found the other eye, do you look under the church for the key? I will be above you. Shoot it. Dude, I'm way ahead of you on that one. I fucking got that shit easy peasy on lock. Let's go to Sour Grove. And while this is happening, I'm gonna run outside and grab my food that's sitting outside. Being devoured by bugs. Actually, I guess it won't be anymore. It's the middle of October. I do need to bring my food. So, you guys, watch the knock. You're back.
I'm back. Did they wave? Did they do anything at all? What did they freaking do? I swear to God, I'll get so freaking mad if they got mean. They mooned you. They don't even have an ass. They're an octopus. We saw. We saw what they were. We all saw. Save. 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 We're going into the Pogging Frog Cave, which contains the machine we need to open the way. Ow? Asshole? Really? It actually fell on me and hurt me. Whatever, we know where we're going. Across the bridge. The path is the path is open. All we need to do now is follow it. Don't even look at this guy. Don't even look at it. I'm gonna have to fight. I have to kill this guy. The game is gonna make me kill this fucking dragonfly. He's not. Nice ride here. Sourwood. I'm gonna take a quick peek at this sourwood and see what I think. Let's see. Let's see what sourwood's looking like, chat. I'm getting some uh, blight town vibes with the sourwood here. Bitter fog from the mountains are trapped in this forest. The wind and water are dissolving the ground. Deep, rotten pools are eating away its own bottom. The rock is decaying. No wonder why the witches like it here. Speaking of, one of them is waiting in the maze pond. You need three torment screws to unbar the way. Guard your blood, for the forest is infested with things wanting to drink it. Yeah, I'm not playing this one tonight. <laughs> I saw a torment screws, maze pond, poison pools so toxic they're melting the very grounds of the o their own pools. And I'm thinking that seems like a good stopping spot for this stream. What with it being five hours and all. This was a lovely, lovely game and I would advise if you're interested, you buy it for yourself on the off chance I don't get the chance to finish it on stream. Because, uh, sometimes the opportunity doesn't arise. For whatever reason. My food's here, I desperately want to eat it, and I can't go any longer tonight regardless. Tomorrow I'm taking off, but I'm not really. You'll be getting it at, uh, because I will be playing, uh, in a new D&D campaign with Joe Fudge. I'm actually joining into a campaign that's already been in progress, but don't worry if you don't know what's going on in it. Neither do I! <laughs> so we get to learn together. Uh, it should be a good time. I'm very, very, very excited. And, uh, yeah, I feel like it's fairly obvious. I'm very, very, very excited. I've always been very, 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 very excited. So, uh, yeah, that'll be with Joe on his channel tomorrow at 3.30 uh, p.m. So it's uh, now officially going to be during my stream time. So you won't even... It'll be as if I'm streaming that day. It'll be at the exact same time I usually start my stream. My next stream, however, will be on Monday at 3.30 p.m.-ish EST. Uh, if you donated or gifted subs or subscribed, thanks. If you gave me bits, thanks as well. 900 bits from r, &R Bjorn to say audio only listening from these streams is interesting. You nail knowing the games you play. Also super looking forward to your D&D stuff with Joe. Hopefully one day you'll get into RP. Get to RP with folks like Dodgers, Fabia. I think that'd be a cool combo. I mean, maybe, perhaps. I think Goblins was your first and you've done stellar with that. Yeah, Goblins is a good time. We just, we don't really, our group has never really had the opportunity to bump into many. Because uh, we're usually psychos. So we don't really bump into many of the other groups, unfortunately. But I get why we do. Burnt Out Cop, thanks for the 500 bits as well. Rob asks, thanks again for the raid. I really appreciate that as well. Goolsy with five gifted subs. Thank you, Goolsy, 
for that. So kind, so generous. Kaka Brulip, thanks for the hundred bits. Thank you, thank you for the uh, nice, honest explanation. Keeping it real, yeah, no problem. I'm not gonna like, I know what that's referring to. That's referring to like the whole like why I don't always continue to play games eighteen thousand times in a row. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna like lie and be like, oh, you know, it's like, it could be a bad bunch of different stuff, you know. Like, what's the point? You're all mostly a collective of people with brains that are most likely, unless they've been lying above the age of 18, therefore adults that can use their heads. It's not a big deal. The Atar, thanks for the 100 bits. Here's some monetary support to play a game you enjoy. Thanks. Xeno Icewind, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thank you, Xeno, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Thanks. All right, Chad, I'm fucking hungry and tired, and I need to eat. I need to eat so bad. So I'll be back tomorrow for Godforged on Joe's channel. All right, I will add in the Discord for it. Don't worry. And I'll probably also host the stream. Uh, and then Monday, I'll be doing something else. I'll see you then. Monday, 3.30. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. Goodbye.